Hello and welcome. And or welcome, people. We're back. Can you believe it? For how long? Who knows? We'll find out. In just a second or so. I'm back. A dinosaur's tail. Yes. Let's go stop by this potion lady. In it to win it. Micro brew level four. He's in the prologue. Yes. Hey. Upgrade my potion. More elixirs. Light keep you. Light bless you. Hey there, Jim. Um, you know how it works. This blizzard. You did well. I did well, thank you. Hey, look, ten thousand XP. Awesome. Doing well so far. And let's move back down to this town again, right now. Level twenty. I'll do some dungeons and whatnot as we can. Or whatever. Let's just hope it's going to work out this time. I think it will. You know. I want to see what this character is like at level 25 with better gear. And then I'll try out the druid. On normal mode or something. Oh, you died? Uh, <laughs> Hardcore? How far did you get there, Jim? How far did you get? Before dying. Awesome. All the way up and over and go. Hey, look, a shrine of Lilith. I love it. Oh, oh, oh. You downloaded. Gotcha. I thought you said you died. Oh, oh, DL. I'm sorry. That L looks like an I. <laughs> I gotcha. I understand. I'm sorry, I'm, I misread the flim plans. I'm in some random cemetery doing random things. We have to lay these spirits to rest. Six of them all throughout the cemetery. I'll get some morning obols or whispering obols at the end. Trying to maintain my gear. Let's take that special potion. Get here. Right now. Well, I'm ready. I'm ready right now. Hey, old cat. This is really awesome. There's so much content dense and ripe. I'm in some random cemetery doing random things. Hardcore mode. If I die, it's all over. So stressful. But this necromancer is a juicy kind of guy. Yes. Lots of blood and curses and bones and so forth. Random player. There you go. Random player, hello. Greetings. Random player, join my party. Random player, come back to me. Come back to me, random player, please. I want to do the dungeon with you. Don't go over there yet, you fool. I'm. Well, this game is better than the mobile version. Um. 
quite a bit. Quite a bit. The mobile version felt um, a whole different experience. You'll see. It's 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 different. This is darker and and more dangerous and more detailed. And it's keeping track of what we have to do. So here's the map so far. It's a big old crazy map, right? And it's not randomized or anything like the other one, Diablo Immortal. This one gives you bonuses, right? Uh, for exploring and doing side dungeons and altars of Lilith and everything and so forth. Uh, finding altars, doing side quests, finding waypoints and everything. You're doing this to unlock bonuses for yourself and other characters. There's like 23 dungeons and they're all spread around. In Diablo Immortal, there was like a, a few dungeons and they were like official things that you queued into and you did them over and over and over again. This one's more of a... It's part of the overall map and you do them for specific unlocks. Like this one gives gives you an aspect where you can apply it to a piece of gear to turn the gear legendary. It's like a system to get stronger. For example, I, I made this chest here into a legendary piece by applying this, by Im imprinting an aspect that I've unlocked through another means. And I think it's cross-character as well. So once you unlock that dungeon, it's good to go for all your characters and so forth. It's pretty cool in the, in the world here. And the skill tree is more technical. Everything's a bit more technical and nice and good. Embolden the soul. I'm sure it's going to be what? Cheer? Impressive. Hey, it works. And now I have a spirit fox. Let's go and knock out this dungeon. Right about now. And right now I'm playing on hardcore mode where, uh, you know, it's going to work out. If I die, it's all over. Also, in Diablo Immortal, you had this randomized dungeon thing, and you had a bounty board. There are no bounties here. There are no bounties here. The entire thing is like adventure mode. It, it seems like there is less stuff to do on a, on smaller maps uh, that were all kind of fused together with little world events that were popping up all, all over the place. World events, world bosses, and so forth in Diablo Immortal. It was really... Uh, it was action-packed and streamlined and really paid win focus where it's all it's all gem based sort of you know and getting these legendary gems magnifying your gear this one doesn't have any of that so far I gotta be careful that guy actually hit me As you can see, it's, it's pretty dark in here. But anyways, the Necromancer is pretty awesome. I can float through the enemies in this blood cloud. It gives me a stacking fortify. I can summon these skeletal flimflams, of course. And they're pretty powerful. I have this bone prison. You know. It traps them. This guy's all about so far getting this extra blood blood shield. You can see how I have my my life bar is extra bright red right now. My life is stacked up on top of itself. It says fortify a certain amount and life a certain amount. This character seems to be about stacking that fortify. Which makes him pretty tanky. I am not immortal. There we go. And lots of crowd control and minions. But this guy was also in Diablo Immortal. It's always the same. But it's slight differences. There's new stats here, like Overpower and Vulnerable, and, um, maybe Fortify, but not as much. He seems to have a higher emphasis across the board.
right now I have the shrine here. I gotta cleanse the shrine. Yes, the, the Necromancer is a class that's in Diablo. Diablo has the same class as like Barbarian. Well, in this one there are the Barbarian, the Sorcerer, the Rogue, the Necromancer, and the Druid. The Barbarian was also in Diablo Immortal. I don't know if the druid was. Shapeshifter. But it's typically, uh, you know, these same classes across the Diablo franchise. Or it's to be expected that eventually you'll get the same class to be unlocked through future DLC if it's not already there. Like, the Necromancer was added to Diablo 3 after uh, DLC. Tag each of these dudes with my blood spear of yore. And here's skill tree. It's pretty cool. The passives are embedded within the skill tree. That's pretty different there. And it's pretty refundable and customizable. Also, the way that the gear works is sort of different, and the way that the blacksmith works is sort of different. A little bit. But it feels like it's pretty easy to customize your your overall build and get stronger. If I were two years older, I'd have passed my trials and I'd be marching with them. Instead, I stay. Also, uh... The... The previous, um, the previous couple Diablos had some sort of randomized vendor where you used blood shards or something like that to get an item, sort of like in Fallout 76 with the script. This one has that as well, but it's a different system to get that currency. Before you got that currency by a couple of different garbage means, you find a blood goblin or you do some other stuff and you get a certain amount. Here you get the currency all the time by doing all the side stuff. You're doing all the side blim blam the whole time. All the dungeons I think give it to you. All of the side public activities give it to you. These It's called uh, obols and the, the items are pretty cheap and you cap out at like 500 obols, so you have to spend it. You buy keys and you buy different slots, and it's a pretty quick way to get some legendaries. And so forth. No! Well, there she goes again. A bunch of garbage. Dot com. Barbarian. Good graphics. Mm, stupid Rogueman. Rogueman Mac Gee. So you have these dudes here. You know. You typically have this sort of thing going on. And you expect, like, between part two and part three, you don't expect a different game. You expect it to be a fine-tuned experience. So I'm going to back out and enter again and see another half-an-hour queue and just cry. Yeah, the graphics are great on this whole thing. The graphics were pretty good in, in Diablo Immortal when you look at your character, but most of the, of the world graphics were simplified to a, a certain degree. You know? The graphics in Diablo 3... Were garbage. <laughs> really bad when you zoom in at your character. It's like pixelated and it's not like Valheim bad. It was as good as it needed to be to see the character really small. Diablo Mortal had good looking characters a little bit, 
but the world itself and all the and all the all the everything look kind of bad here everything looks really good you know it's sort of like the appeal really good physics on everything like the hair and everything looks great so to see a necromancer do what it has to do is really awesome seeing the barbarian cut enemies in half is really awesome with good graphics and that with the whole different tone with it's, it's, it's darker and grittier you saw in that dungeon a little bit the whole thing is darker and uh, the storyline it seems to be more drawn out sort of Diablo Immortal had the same basic storyline sort of as Diablo 3 told from a slightly different perspective where you fought the Skeleton King and you know many of the same sort of bosses as Diablo 3 but it was different you know and it, it sort of felt like Diablo so it was yeehaw you know and, but but it had raid bosses and everything but it was also pretty streamlined with the story you go here you go there and you're done sort of this one the locations are pretty far away and there's a bunch of stuff between A and B and there's like a lot of stuff lots of exploration and these dungeons all feel a bit different it's pretty awesome but it looks like I gotta end the stream again huh come back in half an hour maybe perhaps yeah this keeps happening quite a bit like the fourth time it's happened I expect it to get maybe better and <laughs> or worse I don't know it's the weekend you see and people have been looking forward to this so there's many people that are going to be doing a marathon overnight you know what I mean throughout the day it was pretty good a little bit Uh, yeah. Yes, it's free right now. Everyone's trying it out. You, you, you'd expect that Blizzard would be prepared for these things. Last weekend, I never had this problem. Or, or at least it never kicked me out. It did have the occasional queue time of like a couple minutes. But it never kicked me out of the thing. You're You're still in the game there, Mike? That's nice. Is giving people turns. You know, it's nice it's giving people turns. It's like a, a compromise. There's too many people. Take them out. They're, they're rotating people. They're rotating people. Well, I'll tell you one thing. I played the Barbarian last week quite a bit. And I noticed tons of changes in that dude. You know what I mean? Uh, Diablo 3 has a certain system for skills. You level up, and every time you level up, you unlock some skill or some derivative of a skill, a sub rune for a skill, a modifier for a skill. Jar of spiders, jar of leaping spiders, flaming spiders, or toads, flaming toads, poison toads, you know? Over time. And you don't really have the ability to decide what comes next it's just scheduled at level this this gets unlocked and so forth and you could play with it and so on and I kind of forget how the skills were in Diablo Immortal uh, but very similar 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 I felt when playing Diablo Immortal that it was a streamlined experience of Diablo 3 mixed with an MMO sort of world with uh, with dungeon finder garbage and so forth and so on and these group finder things and so forth it was, it was good
Yes, Mars. I tried it once where I canceled and I rejoined and I was like 10 minutes further. But look, it just jumped forward 8 minutes. So people are giving up. <laughs> the Barbarian in this one, it feels a whole lot more technical. You know? Uh, I can't show it to you. I have to use my words here. The Barbarian in this game has an arsenal. So you have a two-handed uh, sharp weapon and a two-handed bludgeoning weapon. And then you have a dual wield slot. So that's four different weapons. And you see them at, at, at all times. And you assign the weapon to the skill. It's not like you're using different weapons. One, two, three, four. You're using different skills. And the skills can have whatever weapon you want as associated with them. And there's bonuses for swapping weapons. It was vaguely technical. Lots of stats you had to look for and and things it was, it was pretty cool pretty cool pretty cool and technical you killed a deer i find that the wildlife don't give you anything in this game they give you nothing oh this game also has uh that makes it different from the previous diablos it has resources out there in the field, like ore that you pick up from mounds, and it has bushes with berries, and some creatures drop like demon hearts and so forth. And you have this stockade that is sort of like this universal storage that goes between your characters, between hardcore and normal. I don't think it crosses over, but all your hardcore characters share the same stockade. It's not in your stash. It, it just goes away, and it appears to be infinite, which is awesome. I guess. Even though I like limitation. Uh, as, as new, it appears to be used in one hand for elixir creation, which is new. Okay. This elixir thing, where right away you're getting access to these elixirs that gives you some sort of modification, some buff, like defensive buff or dodge buff or some garbage, plus 5% XP. And you craft them. Yeehaw. You can put them in your stash. It's vaguely new. And with the blacksmith, right now in the beta, there doesn't appear to be a method to craft gear. But you can upgrade gear, and it uses the crafting resources. You could break items down. When I first played, that's what I did. That's what I do normally whenever I play a game that has crafting. I break everything down and I craft what I can and I sell that. I figure it's better in the long run. It wasn't here. You're supposed to cr break down certain things that give you a skin which is cool. You're breaking down stuff for skins. Sort of. And then you're upgrading other things. It's, it appears to be very expensive. Gold is very important. Sometimes in a game like this gold is meaningless. Sort of. Or you end up with a million gold because there's nothing to spend it on. You have to have a gold sink, as they say. That was cool. You got this other occultist vendor. And that one has a bunch of features and functions that other previous Diablos had. Where you can, like in the previous one, you could pull a legendary off. You could pull a legendary aspect off of an item and put it onto another item. Okay. But this one has a bunch of stuff like that in the same vendor. You could modify lines pretty easily. Uh, modify affix lines, like suffix affix. You could modify the item a little bit. You know? And you can upgrade items and get items. So it appears to be pretty easy to make sure that you're always on top of things. I think Diablo Immortal had level ranges where maybe... Enemies in one part of the map are stronger than the other part. It appears that everything is matching your level as you go. Uh, and everyone's kind of running together. Sort of. If you're in this zone. Sort of. Whereas in the other one, it felt like different level ranges were in different parts of the map. You know what I mean? Because you'll have a level 22 fighting next to a level 5, and they're each doing equal damage. If they have current gear for the level. Which is awesome. Sort of like in Fallout. With the with the one, one Wasteland update. Where enemies match your level. You know what I mean? 
which makes it exciting. So you have to always make sure you're up, up and good to go. You can't fast track too deep. You have to make sure that you have as many upgrades as possible. But there's no one item that is level 10 when you're level 20. You have some low level ring or something when you could have 7% more resistance against something. You know? This game has relatively easy respecking. With this tree, you could trim, trim the flim, cut back the things relatively cheap. It gets more expensive as it goes, but pretty, pretty easy and fun to modify that. And there's clans. They don't seem to function right now. I was adding random people to my party. I was up to a party of five last weekend doing things. The cutscenes are cool. But I have no idea what the actual end game is going to be like, or what the other zones are like, or what the PvP is going to be like. I'm sure there's going to be something going on. Because in the emote menu, it said something about PvP not being available at this time. You know, which means it will be available. Or something. You know what I mean? And it's always nice to see how the story evolves. This game takes place in the future. Past the events of Diablo 3. <coughs> I think Diablo Immortal was Diablo 2.5. I think it was. I'm pretty sure. The story takes place between the games. That's why it has many of the similar notes storyline elements because it takes place in all the same spots and everything this one uh, is pretty interesting so far we'll see many things happen in Diablo 2 and Diablo 3 many things <laughs> involving human souls and so forth and the world stone and Mount Ariat and the forces of evil invading Earth or a sanctuary. Prime evils and everything. This game appears to be about a uh, about the foundation of the world. You know, sort of. The fight over sanctuary itself. Lilith is described as the mother of sanctuary, which is the landscape that we find ourselves in. It's Earth. I think it's like a flat Earth scenario, but it's not Earth. There is no Earth. This isn't Earth. This isn't our dimension. A different storyline, you know. This isn't Judeo-Christian, even though it mentions hell and everything. And similar names, similar. Just it's not the same origin as reality, even though there are many many similarities there's Inarius some angel that was imprisoned on earth for millennia and fought back to get to heaven blah 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 people worship him and call him heavenly father you know that sort of thing Diablo is just one of those prime evils there's like a bunch of them he's a lord of terror sort of thing but there's like a bunch of them they're all, they're all a big old family and you know things have happened and humans are the offspring of angels and demons. They're Nephilim, diluted through bloodlines. And us as heroes, we're magical because we have, you know, a bit more of that ancient power within us. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. I'm having fun with this so far. But, yes, playing as the Barbarian uh, Melee, very exciting. I haven't actually hit them and run around and worry about how fast I am and, like, charging back and forth and body slamming and jumping around. It's always fun. And I think Barbarian is the class that's through all of them, you know? Some of the classes are different. You have like Assassin in Part 2 and Demon Hunter in Part 3. 
and Rogue, you know, and Rogue is probably in part one, you know, they're all like the same class. You have Wizard in part three and Sorcerer. It's the same thing. Different names, sort of. You have Witch Doctor in part three with, with a bunch of pets with voodoo magic, you know, holding a dead snake or something and a, the voodoo doll and you have these little tribesmen running around with you and fetish dolls and so forth and weird poison slime zombie dog situations zombies more more so than skeletons you know the necromancer is more skeletons and bones and curses and blood shadow magic I guess as well and the demon hunter slash rogue assassin that's all shadow as well I guess yeah now Yep. It seems like uh, once I dug in deeper in the barbarian tree, I was able to align myself with one element or another. Which was nice, having that customizability. The same thing with the sorcerer. I'm sure you could focus on one element or another. You know what I mean? And Blizzard has always had um, amazing cinematics. Like in World of Warcraft and everything. They've always had the best, sort of. Or you could expect them to be real good. <laughs> A little bit. It's expected. People complained when Diablo 3 came out, and many even protested it. It's one of those games that we talk about. It's one of those games that we talk about, you know? Where, or it's, it's one of those things that we talk about where uh, the largest fan of the franchise boycotts the, the thing. It's sort of like a Star Wars fan never watching the current Star Wars because they're such a fan. No, I'm too much of a fan to watch that new trash. That's not Star Wars. Or how like a Fallout person never touched Fallout 76 because they're so much of a Fallout fan. You know what I mean? Which, which Diallo is my favorite? Well, my favorite Diallo is Diablo 4. I'm a man of the times. <laughs> that would have to be Diablo 4. Yes. I mean, it should be. Imagine there's a bunch of people wearing suits in some room, sipping their coffee, saying, let's make a game that's worse than the previous one. Or something. This one, baby. Because, look, the th the part th that made Diablo Immortal real cool was the fact that it's sort of like an MMO. There's lots of people running around. It's not. It doesn't feel as claustrophobic as Diablo 3. Where Diablo 3 was a situation where you, you played alone or with other people. Where you, you opened up your world for other people to join. Or you joined another random world. Or you joined your friend. And the random world had like four people on it. It was like a four-person thing. I'm pretty sure, right? Four people, you know, in your world. A, a, a player has joined your world. The monsters have gotten stronger, you know? This one, who knows how, how, how big it is? A thousand people? I don't know. Not a thousand. It's something. Who knows? I don't know what the limit is, but it's a lot, probably. Because the map is kind of large... You only see so many people at any given instance. You know what I mean? I don't know how, how, how many people this game can handle in the city walking around at once. But yes, many people 
boycotted or whatever Diablo 3 because it was too cartoony, too bright and happy with rainbows and teddy bears, care bears and, and unicorns. Seriously, all those things I just mentioned are in Diablo 3. <laughs> and people said, not me, not today, that's not my Diablo. My Diablo has light radius gear and it's all dark and horrible and gritty. You know? So this one kind of pulled it back a touch and turned up the grit and turned down the, the brightness. You think Lilith's, Lilith, Lilith has some compelling arguments? Well, you know. I I think there's a line that's crossed on both sides here. That priest in the in the in the in the place was saying, Shameful, shameful, all of you. You covet and steal. You see, coveting is different than stealing, even though it's like a sin and everything. But you know, coveting is different than stealing. You're acting on it, you know? You gamble, gambling's bad? Enough to throw in with murdering and stuff like that? You gamble and you murder? Hold on. You know what I mean? So when Lilith says, uh, be all comfortable in your sin, be comfortable in gambling and coveting things, not in murdering, it's a difference. There's a spectrum here. You don't just go full flim flam. Anyways, the game is back and I stalled for an half an hour. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> <laughs> Stalling sequence completed. Rutabaker, we're back in. <laughs> I stalled long enough. <laughs> this is, um, this is, um, about this much of this is, 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 uh... Ooh. About this much of this is... Ooh. About this much of this is, um... Mm. Ah, Dr. Pepper. It's all Dr. Pepper. I don't, I don't drink alcohol. Ah, you have good timings, then. I have good timing. I'm here to exercise them flim flams. <laughs> it's it's it it's just soda, people. I'm not old enough to Demons drink the hard stuff. Already? I don't see her husband. What was that? I can't drink the hard stuff. I'm not old enough. <laughs> Diet Dr. Pepper with extra prunes. Ivo, look at me. Stay with me. Just die already. Where is he? I found him. In the sewers. There. Damn, he's gone into the sewers. So what do you say, half an hour? I have half an hour to rock and roll, baby, before this thing kicks me out. It's 7 p.m. Come on, Blizzard. Vasek, wait. To hire more interns. They're paying the interns with bagels. Ah, 
Operation Rock is a roll. Ing down the road. <laughs> I'm I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm saying that let's just hope the game doesn't crash on me. I think we have at least half an hour, right? Go 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 go! Let's just take it in. Just take in the joy. Just take in this experience of Diablo for the year 2023, and we're here in in the middle of good graphics. Not today. That's how it's done, baby. I'll tell you what, everybody in the world should do hardcore mode. It's so exciting. Nothing else matters besides hardcore mode. And I hate it. That I'm stuck in this system where I can't do anything but hardcore mode. Because I'm gonna die one day. Like right now. <laughs> I hate the fact that I can't play the standard game anymore. This has the added, you know danger the added stress I need I need the stress to care it increases the value of everything I do it increases the need for me to um, have extra gold to put away my gems you know to store extra things in my inventory just in case not mean Play like this. Operation Up Close is a go. Operation Up Close is a go go. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nope. Those guys explode. So my my blood mist um, walks right through enemies. Yeah. Yes. Go away. Go away. Stay away. I will destroy you. This is some side quest I'm on, by the way. No. My little babies. No. Nope. You are in a cave. I don't want my heart to break when I die. Speaking of dying. Speaking of death. Boom. Nope. Not today. Ah! It's too detailed. It's too detailed. Did I do that? Did I do that? You died? No! Mike Brew died. Sons of beeswax. I died several times. The first, 
week I played this game. Once I learned a thing or two about life. Like before, take my chalice. I will take your chalice and place it down. But hey, Mike, the next time you start, you have all the gold that you had from before. So, it, it's not a problem. You can get back to where you were in three seconds. Just skip, skip, skip. Press the escape button. It's easy. It's so easy to get back to where you were. I, I've learned this. I died like four times last week. I've learned it's so easy to get to level 20. Given all these crashes every three seconds. Here we go. It's time to rock and roll. Not today. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. No! Ha! Exactly. Look upon your shattered remains and your paltry rich. Exactly. Relish your meaningless victory while you can. Sick. I've failed you. I'm so sorry. We need to get out of here. You gotta get out of here. Look upon your shattered wretch and shudder. I put him in a cage of bone. You're injured. I'm fine. I'm putting you down. Level twenty one is a go go. What do we have? I'm working on this blood. My blood skills deal more damage, more overpower damage. It's doubled while I'm healthy. Okay, more fortify. My blood skills have a higher chance to increase my fortify. Whoopsie. I hit the wrong button. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, the bleeding damage was cool. You want to block? Oh, you want to actually block? Um. Yeah. You just have to, like, avoid getting hit. You have to sidestep quite a bit with the Barbarian. It's really fun, though. It's much harder than other classes, so. Hoobity scoobity boobity. Let's see here. I'm working on my flims. Where was I? I want this blood stuff done. Okay, where were we? I have how many obols? 275. It's time for another legendary. What do you say? Here's my gear. Let's get some legendary... A legendary ring. No, let's go for a legendary amulet. Oh, yeah. It's expensive, though. One. A bit of magic in that one. Two. Hmm, not much, is it? Three. Four? Oh. No beans. Let's go for boots. It seems your prayers have been answered. First try. But seriously, first try. <gasps> well, unstoppable, and for two seconds after, I gained 10% movement speed, and I can move freely through it. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. This amulet over here. Um, plus one rank of all curse skills. Increased movement speed. Hmm. Empty socket. 7% energy cost reduction. Hey there, Shannon. This chest here. Okay, so I have this other chest. Boom. I'm going to modify this other chest really quick in the flim flime house. You'll see. 
Okay. And strip this item off of this item. Uh, strip this aspect off this item. And put away these... Um, elixirs. And gems. Pump up the gem. Let's go stop over here first. So I have... Uh, it says right here. While unstoppable and for two seconds after, I gain increased movement speed. And I, I'm pretty sure... Well, I thought the blood mist gives me unstoppable, you know? It, you'd think... You'd think... Something else... One second. Unstoppable. Hmm. Whatever. I'll see. Yes. I'm putting away certain things into the gym house. They call me Gem House Jones. Let's go strip these items. Level account bound. Account character account. Oh no. So here we are. I'm gonna go down to this occultist vendor. All right, traveler. All right, traveler. I will now remove this aspect from this item. Yes. Boom. For $11,000. Oh, my. Yes. No. 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 Yes. Ugh. Terrible. Okay, let's modify these boots here. Fire resistance, movement speed, shadow resistance. Let's check out my resistances, huh? What's my lowest resistance? Close bleeding damage, shadow, uh, fire is 40%. Okay, let's just remove this. I don't need that much, but I don't have the cool resources, baby. So I think I'm good to go. Fairly right now. Well. I'll sell what I can. Everything else is fine. I'll see what I can upgrade around the corner. Uh, you died before you left the prologue there, Mike? Let me know once you leave the prologue and then we we can roll together. I'm sure you can make it past the prologue real quick. Here, I'll show you. Watch this. I'm going to I'm going to now create a druid and get past the prologue. But what if I enter a half an hour queue again? No! I can't experiment like that. We're stuck here forever. I'm never leaving. All right, goodbye. Came apart nicely. Mm -hmm. Never leaving. Well struck. I'm giving that ring to my other character. Because you can. You know? Because you can. Give these things to the other dudes. You know what I mean? Two-handed scythe. Safe other job. garbage. Let's try to upgrade something. Let's upgrade something. Let's upgrade these boots I just picked up. One time. Two times. Oh, yeah. Offhand. Very cool. Head. 
<clears throat> Not bad. Chest. Pant. All the money. As much as possible. Okay, so, um... Character selection. Okay, so let's keep on going out there and about there. Right now. Back to the slaying.com. What do you say? That's a good looking shield right there. I got that bird foot. Where am I? Where am I? There I am. Alright, so first I'll do this other side quest. I'll skimming around. I'll be skimming around on the way there. My goal is to get that uh, blood spear on all the individual enemies as well. And to zap them all with my primary attack. To get that stacking fortify. It builds and builds and builds. And so does that. Keeps on building. There we go. So this is going to give me a movement speed buff right now. See? Because those boots I got. Let's go through here. Yeah, so uh, this one feels more like I'm exploring an open world game versus uh, exploring a map to do activities. In Diablo Immortal. Or whatever. My asthma. This pallid miasma has brought upon an imbalance of humors. I will not die. Character selection. Character selection. You can do it, Mike. I believe in you. You got all day. Okay, we're entering the domain of Flim Flam. The crawl forest of your. That guy hit me. That guy hit me. A little bit. That's not good. Gotta be careful. I can't let these guys hit me. Hey look, random player. Invite the party, please. Invite to Hey look, this person's on my team now. How cool is that? Appears to be a rogue. I'm faster than you.
take that, pal. We got a little event over here. I gotta do these things for the obols. Get to kill as many enemies as possible now. Minions of your come to my aid and let none touch me. This is what we're doing here. Survive the ambush with your random teammate. That bone prison gives me four to five for every enemy caught inside. Make sure you avoid, avoid, avoid. Okay. Goodbye, frozen person. Yay. What's it say? What's it say? Gratitude. Thank you. I appreciate that. Gold rains after my next kill. Ooh. That sounds fun. Okay, well, I'm going to leave this teammate. Random person. My next kill, huh? Let's find out. I have a time limit, though. Let's hurry up. They lied to me. I will not be destroyed. There he is. Explosion. I want to go in this little chamber to my right. Jeez. A lot of corpses. I'm going in this hole because I have to. And not die in the process. Oh my gosh. the dusty I haven't died yet and I will not die I will not die
customization. Let's go up around this way. I have all this fortify, it's awesome. I might replace that bone prison, okay? Cause it doesn't really work on bosses, first of all. It does a little bit if they walk around. And it sucks on teens, and I like to try different stuff out, so I might try out a different version. I am immortal, I am immortal. I have to kill enemies with enemies rings. Yeah, I think I'll try something else out. It's really about what items I pick up, to be honest. Some items get, provide bonuses to certain skills, you know? Almost, come on. Day within the ring. Next ring, come on, right here. There you go. Next one. Let's grab it around for a second. And done. Oh, let's fight up here. Fight up here. I have seven seconds. I got it. Oh, I got it. I got it. Oh, yeah. They are providing increasing numbers of gems. You know? Be careful though. Let's put these blood lances around, make sure they're, they're all tagged up. Let me go up and around. I have to explore everything. Oh, stop it already. Okay, get this corner. This level 21 Ash and Hollow, because that's who I am. Let's loop back around this thing. Awesome. Oh, the bears almost got you. Yeah, those bears are pretty rough. With the barbarian. A bunch of these enemies are. Becomes easier though. Huh? Perhaps. Uh, let's see where he is. Request to join party. Oh. You're almost there. You're almost you're almost there, and then we could rock and roll. I've made it to the next town. I made it. Oh my gosh. I've made it. Pile them high and smolder them down. We're getting there. I'm working hard on getting that map unlocked and so forth. You Are you injured? But it's nothing that won't heal. I was a fool for trying to get into the old Lights Watch outpost. The places I only... Don't worry. The old Lights Watch outpost dungeon, I will do it. Do you see now, Lacton? Those were local hunters. Local hunters. Bound by blood. I found the body. Have you seen Parathan? <laughs> no. It seems yes. that Margrave is beset on all sides by darkness. 
It's amazing. Hey there, pal. Where's Parrot then? Bring out Parathan. Show him to me. Why? I'm to looking for him. Light. I was hoping. Light bless you. The merchants were ambushed at a camp just before the pass. What do we, we get? What do we get? There. What do we get? Hmm. Ooh. While injured, my potion also grants movement speed, but my other one was better. <laughs> uh -huh. So, armor. Increased healing received. More thorns. More damage reduction while fortified. That sounds good to me. Plop, plop, fizz, fizz. Let's get rid of everything else if I could. I want the skins. Bring forth the skins. Thank you. And I will sell everything. Good. What else you want? Else. And now I'll do this side quest. Bound by blood. Let's go. Let's go this way first. Isn't this great? I'm checking on Micro's progress. Ooh, I like how the camera pulled out a bit. This has me wanting to play some Diablo 3. Or even some Diablo Immortal. Problem with Diablo Immortal is the urge to spend money. Once you start to get hooked on it, it's way too easy to spend money in that game. Whoa! The Bitter Road. So I guess there are ranges with that are cut off. Maybe this entire place is like level 1 through 25 or something. Because we can't go beyond this Fractured Peaks area. The map feels pretty large so far. It sucks that all the people are going to be talking about right now is how bad the servers are. Uh, the bears... Those bears at the beginning of the game? It's good, like, uh, no? I forgot what I did. I forgot what I did. Hey, look, all my characters have plus two willpower now. Awesome. I mean... If you want to do the uh, normal mode, that's fine. I was going to make another character uh, druid for uh, normal mode. Then never get slowed down. The goal is to never get hit by him. I think many of these issues, if you get hit by them, uh, it's bad. The goal is to never get hit by them. I'm sure there's a way to never get hit, hit by them. Act like you have no life and just never get hit by them. If that's possible, I don't know. Like this big guy, I'm sure, I'm sure that big guy sucks if you hit me. You know, I'm sure this guy sucks as well. Real bad. That lightning. I'm sure that lightning does really bad things. But, of course, I'm playing as a necromancer right now, so... It's a big difference. I and I did die several times. But I've seen no as the barbarian. I have to find him. I have to find him. To 
So here we go. I invited this random person to my party. Oh my gosh. That was scary. Side quest, go. Random key. The cutthroat to escape. Escape. Items lose dur durability if you die. Too bad you can't, you know. If you die in hardcore, you're doomed. I wonder if you if you die on a teammate or on a team in hardcore, can your teammate revive you within a certain window? I don't think so. Maybe. Well done. Here we go. Light. Grant me the strength to bring your justice upon my own Okay, not today. Nope, 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 nope. Ah, I had some essence if you said. I leveled up this not die. These guys are doing horrible explosive stuff here. Alright. Yes. Shine bright tonight. Oh yes. Rakanishi. Oh yeah, what's that mean? Next core skill deals bonus damage. Beautiful. Oh no. Oh no. Gotta be behind this guy. Very dangerous. Okay, I've leveled up. Let's go spend that point while I can. So we'll, I'm, I'm working on these blood skills here. So hitting an enemy with blood skills have a chance to fortify myself. Let's do it again. Tankiness, tankiness, tankiness. All this tankiness in the world. Yes. Yes. This blood nova is pretty effective here. You know what I mean? Yeah. Let's get that key. I have the key. I'm level 22. I have a nice set of gear. Get him. Not today. Nope. 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 I have a full portatile to bore. 
all that fortitude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Heal, 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 heal. Done. Had to heal my minions. Let's go back this way. Just for a second. I'm not sure if I caught that corner over there. But my potion's no longer active. This is the potion of fire resistance. But it also gives me plus five experience. Yep. F plus five percent experience for half an hour. Those potions. Oh yeah. Yes. It is really good. Let's go back this way for a bit. Goodness gracious. Let's go, Fortitude. Let's go. I'll be 22 in a bit. Down and to the right. Oh, no. back over here in the corner. And now I'm good to go. Mm-hmm. Boss fight, maybe. Parathan. It's actually him. Mm -mm. This might be hard at the, at the focus here. I don't want to die. Nope. Vulnerability. Let's not die. I'll stand over here. Oh boy. Uh oh. Fortified. Two, three, four. There it goes. Two-handed scythe, bootsies, shieldsies, chesties, dunsies. Lakthan, what have you done? What have you done, Lakthan? How could you have? I've done it. Okay, I want to go back to Kilbishot, please. Primarily because I have all these gems. And, uh... I'm gonna make a barbarian. So I could... Or something. I need to talk to you. What? Our mutual friend needs your help. But we must be cautious. Here, 
She wanted me to give you this letter. Mm -hmm. Faith in blood. Friend, I do not know how much longer my shaking hand will hold a quill. So I shall be brief. Mm -hmm. I believe the demon we thought we slew in the sewers was able to escape death by using me as its next host. Yeah. Please come to me in Quera's cellar if you can. With fresh You're fish. The only one I can trust to help. My life is in your hands. I want to play with these people. Okay, so uh, I don't think it'll put me back into the queue if I just make a new character, okay? Can I help you? I think it only puts me back to the queue if I leave the entire game. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and do that because I wanna show the way. Came apart nicely. Or something. I'm just gonna make another barbarian for three seconds. Good. What else you got? Okay. So here we go. Are you watching, Mike? Let's just see how fast I can get past the prologue with another character made for this purpose. Because I need to play with these people. Another character, go! Named Goobarberty. Hardcore. Good Barbara Day. Start the stopwatch. Tick, 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 tick. Speed run is a go go. But I will be going back to my necromancer. This is just to show something. Skipping, Sanctuary skipping. Was never... Speed run, go. I should find better. Turn the beat I around. Face. I'm doing play now. Hold on. Yeah. Room play. Really quick. I will be doing a little scrub here. It's okay. Oh yes, the good old days of melee. It's a whole different game. We don't have to go this way, but uh, we need every piece of gear that I can right now. Because this is hardcore. Here we go. Road's blocked. Should clear up when the storm is past. Really quick, really quick. <laughs> Bingo, bingo, bingo. Let's hurry up. Okay, let's hurry up. Here comes the fresh fish, fish express. I'm gonna catch up to you, Mike. Don't let me catch up to you. Another event. I'm catching up to you. Demons. I'm coming. Swings in the dark. I'm catching up to you. Give me those blood flowers and shut up. He's a wild one. Give me the blood flowers. What's it to you? Come, I'll explain. Give me the fresh fish. Provide upon me the fish stew. See, I have $29,000. Whoa! Look, red dust PvP. <gasps> Look, there's a PvP currency. What the heck does that mean? Hey there, pal. What you got for me? Nothing? Cool. It's not safe here. What you got now? Something better? Of course you do. There you go. 
We go back. Again with the play. And uh, has a chance to make him vulnerable. Keep on going. I'm doing it. Here I go. Hurry up. Hurry up, hurry up. I need some gear. Thank you very much. Whatever I can get. Okay. Pike, boom, done. New weapons, let's go. Quick, give me those gloves on my body. Whatever I can get. Gotta be careful. Okay. Heavy boots. Okay, so here we go. Whirlwind. We're doing it. Right on in. So here's the dungeon. Bounty, bounty. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ride. Yes, sir. I'm level three now. I am level three now. I'm gonna ride on through. I will catch up to you, dear friend. that full fury. Going back through that room in just a second. Okay. Another pike. Probably an improvement. Yes, sir. Uh oh. That's a spicy one. And for the gloves. And for the chest. Gotta stay on top of that gear. As I level sort of the enemies, let's get more fury back as I go through the enemies. In the next level, I'll be getting that stack of defense as I attack them. I bounce around. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
I'm doing this really quick. Just to help out. Mick. Just to see if I know what I'm talking about. Uh, 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 stop it. Okay. We're almost at the boss. Rakanishu. Dial. Cut you right in half. Calm down now, calm down. Go for that shaman. You're done. Stop. Okay, here we go. Be careful. Don't want to die now. Three, two, one. Mm hmm. Level four. Yes. Okay, what have we got? What have we got? A back room burglary. I'm hoping to level up one more time for that boss. Get that stacking defensive buff. Damage reduction in thorns stacks up to four times. Well, there are going to be defensive buffs. Like with, well, my old build, um, there's this over here. You have this. I was doing challenging shout, right? Where you taunt enemies, you get 40% damage reduction for eight seconds, okay? Very important. While that's active, I had 20% maximum life, and then uh, I was getting more fury back. I also had the ground stomp, which is damage reduction because they're not hitting you, right? And we had uh, this charge which pushes all the enemies together and gets you out of the way, you know? And I was doing some stuff. But that's what we're talking about. There's also, right here, every time I take direct damage, I gain Fortify, right? And increase the damage reduction, uh, the damage reduction gained by a, a certain amount. So it's about that thing, you see? And over here... Hitting at least one enemy with, with rupture, you, you get max life back or whatever. It, it becomes pretty sustaining. But at first, so that's what I'm sort of digging for a little bit. Okay, here we go. I just want to get past that bear you're talking about. I, I don't have a clear memory of that bear. This, this is going to be kind of hard now everybody right here hard hard fight alone in the melee world The rodeo. Okay. 
Okay. Ooh, that was damaging. Let's watch out for that vulnerability. I don't want to be vulnerable. He's going down. He's down. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to catch up to you, Mike. Let me know when you're out of the prologue and I'll stop doing this. Oh, you're at the Kill the Shroud Gatehouse. You made it. You have made it. All right. You've returned. You got to talk to this guy before you do that next quest because otherwise it's over. We're speed running. Give me the party, clear. and I wake up in the shack. The heroes return. Okay, new point right over here. Bam. Defensive buff go, level five. So, I know in Diablo 3, barbarians and monks have higher defense by, by, by default, you know, than other stats. Plus, barbarians have more armor in general than other classes, even though they're special. Okay, here we go. Mm, mm. I'm just trying to speedrun a character to uh, the prologue completion. While doing almost everything. Only fire can cleanse the darkness. Only you can give me a cutscene to be skipped. Is this real? Uh, you came to thank the light. You collapsed. How did I get out here? Hello. Greetings. Hello. 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 Greetings. Let's hurry up. Hurry up. Oh, yeah. So where's the enemy you're talking about? He's like around the corner or something. Yes. Yes, we have to hurry up. Hurry up. Operation never get hit as a go. That was easy. Operation never get hit. Is that we're done that that guy? That one? We didn't summon any friends because she never hit me. Or he kinda hit me. He wasn't called a hell collar bear. He was called an, uh, it was a different kind of bear. It was a different bear. It was that was a nightmare bear. I don't know what it was. Yes, it was a different fight. That one was easy. It did spawn like a weird shadow thing at the end, but it was a different bear. Different. Bear. Yes, I imagine one bear would be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Definitely. But are you are you out of the prologue now? I'm trying to get past the prologue here. I think you are because you, the thing said you were. Rather prologue, but you're not in. Uh, but are, are you doing hardcore mode or not, there, Mary? Are you in hardcore mode? You know what I mean. Hardcore. I like to go this lower road. You guys are pretty bad. Get all frosty on you. Potioncount.com Thank you for the three potions out of nowhere. Moving on. I'm ducking. I'm moving. Yay. There you go. Sword. Right over here, right over there. So all these gallo vine plant things, this is cross character. You know? All of it's really cool. Another sword. Gotta get those corners, you know. Rifle through my things. Eat all my flim plan without me present. Not today. You'll eat right in front of me. I'm gonna watch you. I turned off the warning where it says, my skill's not ready yet. I'm not ready yet. I can't do that. Stop it. I turned that off, and now here? it's just a chime. What are you hiding back here? Swoop! Swoo! Nope. In search of answers. Rack and issue. Close to this. This evil is spreading. The evil of Lilith is the only answer. 
the only answer. Thank you. I now have 31,000 gold. Let me go up here for a second, even though it is just a loop around. So I'm going to go up, or sorry, down and around and, and, and into a loop. Even though all this stuff doesn't matter as much because this is just a brand new character. You know. Hey, about time I got a helmet. Okay, so now we're going to go this way. So now I'll be going through this whole area. There's an event around the corner. Okay. Got spear. Hey, look, it's Anarius. The angel in up. That's not Linga. Okay, let's go Can around this way. There he goes. Go for that shaman. The shaman resurrects the rest, you know. Got this event around the corner. More wood? Are you out of the flint plan now? Of course you are. Okay, we're digging our way down. We have bleeding. Uh, yes, bleeding. A sturdy staff. Magical staff. I got you, don't worry. I got you. You're safe now. Be careful. Here's my first little vent. I gotta do it, I gotta do it. Dashy dashy. Get this dude over here. Let's get him. And again. I'll save her life. Thank you, thank you. Here we get this. Look at me. I'm over here now, buddy. Thank you so much for your boots. Let's get this corner. And head, head into Kill the Shad. Hey, think about that clip. He's dead. How you doing there, Mike? Oh, yeah. I'm catching up to you, Mike. Yeah, the game doesn't come out until June. I'm catching up to you. You can't let this happen.
go. Yes. Two-handed bludgeoning weapon. Oh yes, that means that you complete the prologue. When that thing pops up, boom. You did it. I'm coming. I'm right around the corner. Okay, I'm, I'm at Kilbishad. I'll burn my sins. To enter the city, you must we have no time for this. Take a piece of I will. Wood from the shrine. Greed. And greed. Which troubles you. Then and cast it into the brazier. Out of my As way. The fire it is done. So I'm just showing. Uh, I'm showing you how long it takes to get past a prologue if you've already done it once. The first time through, you have to talk to everybody, but you just uh, uh, press. You press escape. So, what did you write on that piece? I'm off to the dry station. No business. Something about greed. Tattoos. Sway back. Shoo. Cloudy Speak eyes. with the merchant. Let's activate the waypoint. Almost there. Get the thing from the vendor. I was sent to go buy the goods and pick up the thing from the counter. Thank you. Wait. And the old man sold me done. this too. He said he didn't need He sold me fresh fish. I'm not sure why. Once you talk to this guy right here, the, the prologue's over when you're done talking to him right now. Pretty sure. Apologies. So right now it turns into a little pano. The camera pulls out, Sometimes does some stuff, and at this point, in life are set to collide. kaboom. No more prologue right now. Prologue complete. And now we're in. Yes. I caught up to you, Mike. Has yet to I caught up to you. And now I'm swapping out characters. He's in the boson reaches the boson. I'm now swapping out characters. See? See how that works? And I was a higher level than him. Only because I had that. Only because. Only reason why I was a higher level was because. I had an extra perk point starting out. Yoo-hoo! Necromancy Age. It's time to run across these fields of yore and not die. <laughs> now to add, invite, Flim Flam. <laughs> I'll be in town. Can I pay you? Let's make sure I look good really quick. The member up. Uh, if you're at the vendor, and there's items in your inventory, and it has the anvil icon, don't sell it. You have to go salvage it to get the skin, so you can then customize how you look at the wardrobe. It's very important. The wardrobe, you can customize how you look, you see? All these helmets, you know, it's, it's so important. But I think I'm good to go. I don't know.
Hmm. Appears to be a motif we have to follow. All right. Hey, look, it's him. Hello. 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 Greetings. Meh. Oh, yes. Thanks. Greetings. Hello. All right. Uh, now that we're here, I did all that. I'll be right back in just a second. Look, it's Micro Brew. Anything else we can do? Can, can I trade with you? Does that work? Oh, it does work. Nope. I was just curious. I was just curious. Jeez. All right, I'll be right back, okay? Yes. Yes. We have made it, and we're about to play the game. Dot com style. Hello. Brutal. I like it. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Blacksmith is over here there, Mike. Well done. For breaking stuff down.
Need something for it? Bloop, 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 bloop. Only, only the items that have that symbol next to them. Oh, yeah. Okay. Here we go, everybody. I'm gonna rock and roll. Oh. I'll go to your portal. I'm going to your portal. I went through your portal there. I think. Oh, that's where you are. Oh, huh. Whatever. So, uh, let's just wander outside, okay? Yes? Yes. Gonna wander outside and wreck some stuff a little bit. I'll be right outside the gates doing gate things. Wait for him. Hello. Greetings. I'm gonna scrub this baby. Map scrubbing 105. Oh no. <laughs> He's immune, we have to take out these side dudes. just died. Wow. Or did they? Yes, they did. All my minions died. That's not good. Oh, Mike died. Yeah, this, this is a bad one. I'm at zero potions. Yep, good old, uh, hardcore mode. <coughs> okay, fine. I think it's, it's a bit too dangerous to do hardcore mode with other people. Okay? Because it's a fine line of knowing when to get the heck out of there. And, uh dangerous so I think to play uh, I might have to do like a normal character to play with other people you know what I mean because it, it sort of sucks to have to start over a little bit Okay, my minions are not here. I have to be careful. I have no minions. Wait, did he die or did um, it um, crash? I think it might have crashed. I'm hoping. It was pretty rough there for a second. Um, I hope he didn't die. Hmm. 
Yeah. I hope he didn't die. Might have. That was sort of a hard situation with the, those enemies. So I think it might be best to do uh, not hardcore if I want to play with other people. So I think I'll I'll go ahead and, and uh, do a non-hardcore thing, okay? Right now. I'll do the um, Druid. Because you, you saw how relatively quick you can get out of prologue, you know, if you've already done it once. So I don't know how the jewel can play. We'll see how it is in, in a bit. It'll be exciting. It's sad. Is anybody still here? It seems like the world ended and everybody disappeared. Mike died and left. And uh, Chat got all quiet. Things got all sad. How about, well, if Mike doesn't come back, which I don't know. If Mike doesn't come back, then I'll just keep on going, going with the uh, Necromancer here. And then maybe tomorrow I'll start the non-hardcore character. And I can catch up. To people like Mary. How's your uh, character coming along there, Mary? How's your character coming along? Do you plan on playing all night long? I could make my druid now and catch up to you. I can see your level. Your level 11. All last week I was doing the, um, well, all last week and I was doing the Barbarian, for the most part. All these gems, we don't want to lose them. Okay. 
Let's go up and around this this bend over here. Trying to uncover things. What have you got? What have you got? Fractured peaks for now. I'm trying. Let's check out this map thing. You see, I'm trying to earn that renown. If I can get all the way up to here, I'll get one plus one skill points. Skill points, plural. Don't want to fat finger it. Oh, we got it. Yay. Legside retreat. I'm doing as much as possible. I should probably do the story a little bit. I think I'll reserve the story for my actual character. I think I'll do that. So, yeah. Maybe. I mean, like, for normal moves, but I mean. Boy. Very dangerous. of all these guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There we go. I have to keep my zombie dudes up and running. Okay, more... And more and more. Well, oh, let's do this. Because they're dying. They're dying. Let's increase the damage and life of my skeletal warriors, please. And I'll bring this back a touch. Because they're dying. You know? Sad. Sad, sad, sad. Sad. What? I didn't mean to click on that. So overpower deals damage based upon your life and fortify. That's good to know. Okay, here we go. Necromancer. So I'm about to go do this dungeon right now. Right now. Oh, but hey. There's another cellar right here. Doing quite well right now. Yes, I'm still doing this marathon. But like I said, I have to play on normal mode as well. I think that's more appropriate to play with other people. No, it, it becomes a tragic, horrible, stressful thing. Oh boy. Not to be. 
Ooh, that guy does a lot of damage, definitely. Yes, I'm still on hardcore right now. I'm still doing hardcore. Right now. Okay, minion attack speed, shadow damage over time. Resistance to all elements. Comparing. Ooh. Plus movement speed. I like that. Let's stick with that. And I have... What else? Nothing new. So that challenge is still here. The difficulty is still here. The danger is still abound. I was saying that maybe I should only play with other people not on hardcore. today. Dungeon specifically to unlock this aspect thing. This aspect thing. I'm doing a dungeon, it's starting now, it's gonna be so exciting and dangerous. <clears throat> dungeon, wild thicket. Let's begin. Level 23. Level 23. Let's go. Danger, danger, danger. I hear the werewolves. I might have to back out. Yeah, it's too dangerous because I end up backing out all the time on hardcore mode. It, I mean, it's too dangerous to play with other people. Careful here, and boom. Not today. Trapping good. I still do have this blood shield on me. Oh, you can't get me. I have all the life. Nope. Uh, I tried. I tried. There you go, there you go. I'm trying to tag each of these guys as much as possible. Quillrat.com. They all take shared damage if I uh, get that blood tendril on them. Let the heal my dudes. Goodbye. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Careful still. I'm invincible in my blood 
form. Oh boy. Fortified. I'm so fortified. Nope. Gotta kill my minion. Hmm. Okay. That's weird. Okay, it's, this is about to get hard, I think. It's, this is some sort of challenge, some sort of test. It might require necromancer skills, seeing as I'm, I'm, I'm getting a necromancer aspect as a reward. Here we go. Might get new gear here. Let's hope I don't die. Hey there, the J Man Gaming. I'm in a dungeon here. Level 23 right now. Level 23. Hardcore. And I will purse Evir. I will pull through. Okay. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Out of my way, buddy. Beautiful. That was this. Oh, that's bad. It's a it's a trap. I stepped on it on purpose. Uh oh. Uh oh. What's around the corner? I don't know. Avoid the traps. All these guys up. Good thing I'm fortified. Oh boy. Okay. I will kill my minions. They're, they're dying. My minions are dying. They're getting poisoned. I responded to him, uh, Mars. It's okay. It's not a problem. It's okay. People with gaming profiles are allowed to talk in the chat box as long as they don't mention I'm screaming right now. Okay. Some horrible elite here. Danger, danger, danger. Oh no! Look at my life. It's, it's, uh, it's very low and that's not good. So be careful here for a second. That poison is pretty nasty over there. 
I might need some poison resistance in the past. We're still in a dungeon, even though it feels like I'm outdoors. This is a dungeon. I'm in a dungeon right now. Yay. Woo! Scary tiny. I don't want to die now. I need to be careful. Empowered hemorrhage. Immortality, maybe. Oh boy. Invulnerable, yes. Let's go. Let's use it. Let's use it. Put my pets on. Get away for a second. Change damage with all the bad guys. I'm trying to tag everybody. Yes. Over here and there. Goodbye, big free man. I am strong. I am invincible. Let's go this way. Ooh, that was scary. I can't gotta kill my dudes. My life goes down and I get real scared. Sapphire. I don't want to lose all my progression. This is quite the large outdoor dungeon. I'm moving now. Uh oh, we have this crossbow. Let's go check this corner over here. Oh no. This might be dangerous and hard. So, this blood spike thing, they all share the death. Oh my gosh. Woo! Oh boy. It's a bit close there. This guy's doing some damage on him. It's okay. The power shield. Okay. Better up. We have to find the truck. Whoa, the dungeon's complete. Yeah. Really? Well, that was awesome. I now have a new uh, aspect I, I could apply to gear. I'm not quite sure what type of gear. I'm trying to heal our dudes here. Get us back away from this poison guy. Can 
invisiblemousecursor.com. Are y'all still here with me in the chat box? Who oh, no. knew? Yeah. So wonderful. Oh no. Well, that was fun. Let's leave. I've accomplished my task. And I got the credit. I got the renown. The 30 renown. Oh yeah. Okay, let's go to this other side quest while I'm here because I have the mission. But first, I think I should put away a few items. Okay. And I want to I want to modify my gear, of course, because I just unlocked that aspect. Let's go ahead and work with that right now. Put these gems away. Sorted. And the item I can't use. Done. And then. Let's see what I can put that aspect into. Okay. After decompose spawns a corpse, gain 10 essence. Am I, am I using decompose? I'm not using decompose. Oh no. So what does it do? Decompose slows enemies. Alright, I'm not going to apply it because I, I, I'm focusing on different abilities at this moment. But let's fine tune what I have, huh? This amulet. I can't afford it? I can. I don't want this. Plus one rank of all curse skills, because I'm not using any curse skills. Ooh. Damage reduction. Why not? Let's go. And this ring. Uh, I am not really crowd controlling enemies all that much, so I don't need the d damage against them. More physical damage, more, how about no change? Okay, uh, plus eight maximum suffix, uh, af whatever, essence. I was trying to fine tune whatever I could, whenever I can. This, this, uh, wait a minute. Yeah, that chest piece sort of sucks, so I will be upgrading this chest for that barrier skill. Right here. Damaging an elite enemy will give me a barrier, you see? Let's make this legendary. Done. Ah, good fortune, that's so cool. Products of power, my class only. What is this? Blood Lance deals more damage to its primary target. Per Lance enemy, yes. My goodness. Legendary ring. For 9,000. Good omen. I agree. What else we got? Uh, we're fine. Isn't it cool making these elite items? I think it's so cool. It's so cool. Done. From inventory, what, what do I have? I have nothing. Uh, helm. Mm, there it is. Cool. Max number of skeletal mages is increased by two. 
yay, or whatever. Sorry. Yeah, skeletal mo warriors. Yay. But I don't have the material, because I just spent the flim plan. But I'll get it, alright, I'll get it. So at this point, I need to break down other rare items. So at this point, I'm going to break down a few of those yellow items I have there. As opposed to selling them. Because I need the veiled crystal. Best armor in the peaks. The best armor. Safe journey there. Indeed. Let's break down these things. You can take what's left. I got the veiled crystal. Just one, and that's all I needed. All right. Farewell. But I also and salvage this other shield. That's good salvage. And this focus. And this other item. Amazing. See, right now I'm fine-tuning. Also, I will go ahead and uh, upgrade something. Just upgrade something. Anything. There it is. Four thousand dollars. Uh, no. Come back if you need work. Sell the rest. Good. What else you got? Stay on your guard. Cool. And now we go back down. Right. Right now. No witchcraft here. Okay, Only so. Magics. Uh, the helmet, right? Yeah. Aspect from inventory. This thing. And I do it. Yes. I just oh, made another. I made one. another one. I made another one. I did. Another legendary item is mine. So now I have two extra skeletal mages up to seven. Very cool. Let's go knock out the side quest. Level 23. Pretty strong so far. Check out this map progress. We're getting there. I've knocked out three dungeons so far. Each one provides 30. I found 12 altars of Lilith. That's great. Nine side quests. And four waypoints. Keep walking before I... Oh, oh it's you. Very thank cool. Goodness. The sister is in the cellar. Come quickly. And thank you for trying to save my poor Vasek. I know you tried your best. And we enter the cellar. We do the seller stuff. Seller based activities. Right now. I came as soon as I could. Why so much secrecy? Why so much secrecy? This crazy ominous cellar. All the secrecy. Goodbye. One second. Faith in blood. One second. There it is. I, I couldn't find the quest. There it is. I have to go speak with this other priest somewhere. With his prayer book on me. I couldn't find the quest, but now I have. And I'm hidden there right now. On foot. Doing everything between point A and B stronger still than before. I'll stop by the. well, whatever. 
Yeah, I'll try again to get myself a uh, legendary amulet. Seeing as I'm here, it seems your first try. Answered. Becoming injured while crowd controlled grants me unstoppable. And it has a socket. Okay, I'll put a gem inside of it. Mm hmm. Right now. Yes. Fire resistance. Poison resistance. Shadow resistance. Cold resistance. Resist all. Cold resistance. Lightning resistance. So I want to go ahead and do resist all. Yay! And now we move on. What do you say? Right now. Is anybody still here with me in the chat box? We can have a good old time. I'll just give myself a ton of upgrades, as you saw. I'm trying to stay on top of it. On top of that power curve. Of that gear curve. Attack power, life, armor. It's all coming together. It's all coming together. Right now. Fortified again. Okay. We have some event occurring over here. Let me drift on in. Hey there, friend. I'm fine. Hold my ground, I will. Yes, I'm staying alive. Working out so far. Oh boy. It's all working out so far. Gotta keep moving. Bad day. Good thing I'm way over here. Got the card. Two waves left remaining. Boss over here. Boom. I'm so strong. Get behind him. Fifteen times. So if I zap all these other guys and then zap my target, it does a ton of damage. I believe. Yes. We made it. Yay. Congratulations. Oh, 
I have a side quest inside of this dungeon over here to my left. Again, even. But I've already done that dungeon, I think. Is that what that yellow symbol means? Let's find out. Does the yellow symbol mean I haven't completed it yet? Let's find out. Nope, that means I haven't done it yet. Cool. So, another skill point. Isn't that exciting? Oh my gosh. This makes my minions a bit stronger. And now they are stronger. Yes. Ugh, I want to join those people. It's too late. Let's drink this coffee. This is a triumph. You hear me? I'm making a note here. Huge success. So far, so good. So, you know, overnight might be good to go here. You might be good to go overnight right now. Okay, I don't want to die. They keep on moving. Slide right on through, yeah. So far, so good. Remember, we maxed out at level 25, and I haven't been level 25 with another character, so this is my highest level character right now. This is my highest level dude. Sharing damage for sure. Or sorry, the blood lamp. Awesome. Quite well. Yeah, I'll be doing the uh, Druid next on normal difficulty, or uh, sorry, on normal mode. Oh, 
buddy. I'm trying to stun him when I can, get him when I could. You know what I mean? Checking the gear as we go. We received the order. Our company has been called away on a mission for the light. Well, I know that like the others who have been called to serve. Have to slay one more watchman. We will not return. We have already given everything to the church. We must give up our lives as well. One more watchman all the way across the way. Damn, this necromancer is the big news. Nice to have you. We're getting sort of lonely out here in these parts. Yeah, this necromancer is awesome. I'm level 24 now. Still on the hardcore. You know, it's the free uh, beta weekend. The game is free to play for uh, cross platform. Can't get me. No. Not gonna get this dude. I don't think it's on Game Pass, and it's not on the cloud. I don't think. I looked it up, I think. I looked it up whether or not it's going to be on the cloud or game path. And it's just not. Right now. New recruits are proving themselves strong. Not solely on the cost. Oh, yeah. This guy's gonna go down, bit by bit. With some vampire. I have the watchman's key. So I'm hitting quote unquote max level for this beta in just a bit. Level 25, I have to fine tune my build. Get me now. Up and after. Keep on going. Yeah, so my, my my barbarian got to like level twenty or something, and sort of my rogue. Very exciting. He's not dead. I can't remember what you're writing just right just yet. Oh, a tornado. I didn't understand what you're when you're writing, and it got me killed. You're in Alabama, and you have uh, you have tornado warnings or, or potential. Oh my gosh, I gotta pay attention. This is damaging. <laughs> I'm in hardcore mode. You had tornado warnings. You saying there or potential? Is it really windy out there? Oh my goodness. 
my weather out here is pretty stable. It's been stable. Stable. Be careful. Give it to me. All my hits are critical right now for a bit. We got the generator topped off with gas. Have you ever been through a tornado there, uh, Dan? Have you ever been through a tornado? I've never... I've never been through one. I've never seen one, I don't think, up close. No, 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 uh... <laughs> in my neck of the woods, Dan, in, in the Central Valley of California, right where I'm at, the weather's pretty... calm, pretty normal. But the coast and up north and so forth is all weird. Ah. You ever had any, any property damage from a tornado there, Dan? Any property damage? You ever had to hide out in a cellar? Okay, I'm supposed to get this gold right now. Oh my goodness, it's not die. Sorry, greed. Invincible. Thank you very much. Go back over here for this little spot I skipped. Now I'm doing this for a mission, for a quest. Oh. Well, I'm glad you survived there, Dan. Yeah, so I think tomorrow should be much better for the Diablo stability. So it's kind of bad today. I think the stability was so bad today that it turned people off on the entire company. Hey there, Mary. Oh, you got out of that dungeon? Oh, I was asking you earlier, how long do you plan on playing tonight? Because, you know, I might do a druid thing on normal difficulty and catch up later on. You have a safe spot under the stairs in the basement. It was cool that you have the supplies and the generator and all that. Oh boy. I love the blood garbage. I love the blood garbage. These lecterns. I tried to convince Soliana to leave with me. I told her that her son would rather grow up with a mother, and we could start over, away from this frozen wasteland. She refused. Soliana said oh, yeah. her son would be to abandon the life, to the better world for her son. Oh, you're talking about, uh, oh, you're heading to bed? Okay. Yeah. Uh, so tomorrow, sure. I said earlier, actually, that I, I planned on doing the other character tomorrow, you know, and focusing on this character until it dies or something. So I'll play with you tomorrow there, Mar Mary, with my 
druid. Your generator's loud, Dan? Yeah, uh, in the army, there'd be like a, a small uh, concrete wall built in front of the generator will block a lot of the noise. Like a, a little concrete, like knee-height wall, waist-high wall. Or something. Loud, thanks. Okay, boss fight. Oh, no. Oh my gosh, they're all dying. All my minions are dying. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my gosh! Minions, go, 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 go! There we go. Okay, okay, okay. Oh no, I got knocked on the ground. I think I got that blood shield. Oh, no. I don't want to die now. This is serious stuff. Boss fight. There you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. Almost done. Almost done. There you go. Woo, I did it. I did it. I didn't die. Oh, it's so scary. Oh, it's so scary. But we have done the things of your Rutabaker. Huh, huh, huh. Hardcore. We didn't die. You saw how low my life got there a couple times. And it was dangerous because I didn't have enough corpses to re to regenerate my zomb my uh, skeletons. Oh my. Thank you, man. Yes. Whoa. Did you Silver ore. Yeah, the game gets all jittery when it arrives. Enter an area. Thank you for the clip there, Mars. Mm. Go over here first. Calm down, game. Calm down, game. We're halfway there.
All right, damn. Catch in a bit. Oh, this, this bow over here is bad news. Oh my gosh, this whole area is unstable. But that's okay. I mean, loop, where am I? I'm gonna loop up and through and around. I'm gonna focus on the side quest here. So once I'm 25, I'll look at my build and do some refining. You know what I mean? Thank you. So now I have to do this defense event right now. Here we go. Zip zap all these enemies. My goal is to zip zap all the enemies. Not today. All right, Mary. Thank you. Oh my gosh! Danger, danger, danger! Woo! Things get dicey sometimes. Imprisoned and unplanned. Oh my gosh. Are we good yet? More enemies? Yeah. Let me go back over here. Oh no! The vampire's got me. Away from these elites over here. I don't want to get right next to him. I'm maintaining this huge amount of fortify. Remember, every eighth attack here with this blood lance has a. Uh, Overpowers, and then the overpower reduces the cooldown of my blood plume here. Ah! Treasure Goblin! It's about time. My first Treasure Goblin of this session. Last weekend I got a ton of these guys. He just stand a chance. He's stuck in here. Legendary amulet. <gasps> blood mist triggers a corpse explosion on surrounding corpses. When blood mist detonates, the corpse's cooldown is reduced. Oh my gosh, that is OP! Oh my gosh, that's OP. Blood mist explodes corpses? And it has a reduced cooldown? And blood mist leaves a trail that lasts for four seconds. Oh my gosh! Check this out. Oh. 
butterfly in the sky, I can fly twice as high. Take a look, it's in a book. People, I can do anything. With reading rainbow. Okay, so I have to work through this gear here. Make sure I have everything I'm supposed to have. Let's break down these items. Let's refine. I want to break down these other items really quick right now. Okay. Let's go salvage. Nice. And then I want to upgrade. I have 29,000. I want to upgrade. Oh, not here. I'll upgrade that over at the jewel crafter. So I'm heading up and around to drop off my gems like a responsible chap. So cool. Yeah, dog. And I'll sell everything else. So far, so good. Not dying today. Like a true gaming professional. Alright, so I want to strip this aspect from this item. Alright, traveler. Becoming injured while crowd control does all kinds of funky stuff. 11,000, is it worth it? Sure. Why not? Because I'm trying to have a collection here. I, I really think it goes cross-character with these Codex of Power. I think this is unlocked, you know. I have still the stuff I, I've unlocked from last week. But these aspects right here I have to put into my actual box itself. You see. Alright, let's go modify this uh, amulet if I could. Minion attack speed, damage over time, max life. I don't have the stuff. I can't do it. Alright, cool. Let's go check everything else out if I could. It's looking wonderful. Let's see if I can upgrade that item. Oh, I think they did a great job with this game. Mary. I was impressed last week with the greediness and the, uh, you know, it feels like a, a, it feels like Diablo 4, not like some side project. You know? It feels like a natural progression of the thing. Uh, point. Okay. I want that extra resistance. Let's just upgrade this guy just one time. Okay, I can't do it twice. It's too expensive. And... Let's go sell what I could. Really quick. Thank you. I want that gem. Uh, you see, these items are, you know... They go between your characters. It's nice to have stuff already ready for your other dudes. Bliss, and thank you. There, I'm putting with these gems. I now have 27,000 and I'm almost level 25. Yes, Dylan. Uh, exactly. You thought it might be, uh, Immortal 2.0, it does have certain aspects of it, but it's not all the way into that deep end. I think it's a fair compromise between having all these people running around. I'll tell you what, I didn't even know whether or not the game would be multiplayer or not, meaning like with Diablo 3 or Diablo 2, people just join your world or you could join other people's worlds. You hop in, hop out, you know, it has a certain amount of people, not, not too many. But this is like an MMO a little bit with people running around. And it feels more like an like an actual world that you're in. World of Diablo. And I feel like this map's gonna zoom out. Maybe. Or maybe like a second map. And a third map. For the burning hells and so forth. Cause this appears to be just sanctuary. I don't see hell or Heaven, you know? So there's probably two other maps. At least, this appears to be just a continent, you know? 
So it's misleading. Unless there's like a small little note here and or if hell's some unmapped location. Alright, back to what I was doing. Okay, let's move back down the road here. I was trying to maximize my effectiveness. Let's go drop off these gems. I'm happy so far with what we're doing. I'm trying to make sure everything is upgraded whenever possible. And I currently have all legendaries except for my pants. Okay, let's go check out this pants situation. I'm heading down to the mystic over here. Hello. Greetings. Right over here. To get stronger, I want the pants. It's the only non-legendary item I have. Oh, bad luck. Uh huh. Try. Ooh, second try. While I have a barrier active, there's a 22% chance to ignore incoming direct damage from distant enemies. Well, well, well. Plus one rank of Bone Prison. Yes! Rutabaker. First try. Yes. I feel like it was... There was too many microtransactions in Diablo Immortal. You don't have to do it, but it's thrown in your face every three seconds. You know. The fact that a reward for completing a dungeon was a battle chest with a bunch of gems in it that you can buy in the store. You know? Crazy stuff. But hey, look, I'm 2% stronger now. Let's go check out these gems. And now I have a full set of legendary items. I'll make sure I look cool. Okay, armor. Max life. Is it important for my build? For my fortify. So now we're good to go. Check that out. Level 15, huh? <laughs> So now we're good to go. Let's go check out my cosmetical flim flam. the coin to your witcher. Mm-hmm. I'm checking out these items. Hey. 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 Default look. There it is. Sure. Done. Ooh, ah. Oh, no. Goodbye. Gotta stay current, you know. Well struck. Well met. Greetings. See you around. And I'll get one more potion going. Light keep you. Light bless you. Okay, I'll take a... Uh, I'm going to shoot for the full 12-hour streams. Yes. Benjamin. <laughs> As much as possible during this weekend. Even though most of today was all weird. 
you know. I was off. I was live off and on, all day long. You know what I mean? I've been like live four times today, with all these issues, with the stream or with the um, servers here. Yeah, it's already pretty late right now. You know, I'm trying to go as long as possible until I can't anymore. And I feel like it's more stable here. Yes. I remember my... Uh, Remember, my blood mist detonates corpses. That's really cool. All my strikes are critical for the time being. Another event. Or not. Getting pretty strong here. There are no mounts in the game right now, but there will be. And that's cool. Oh man. Lots of exploration. It's a war saber of the year. A falcon. I'm not dead yet. Remember, all the stuff I do is grinding for the next character. Sort of. At a certain point, I can become stable and then really invest in trying to strengthen myself. Yes, Benjamin, I can level up to level 25. I'm level 24 right now. <laughs> but I'm playing on hardcore, so it's extra crazy. And the harder... Uh, I'm playing on veteran difficulty, hardcore mode. It's not extra crazy. It just means it's permanent. Permanent death. But the same difficulty, it's just... If I die, it's over. We're heading to this town. And I gotta use the rest round. I'll splash some cold water on my eyelids for three seconds. Okay. I found these journals in the place. Now pay me. Ooh. Hey there, friendo. Who are you? Give me a holy chalice right now. I've lit the old braziers. Level twenty-five. Mission completed. Max level. Maximum. Maximum. Blood wave. Army of the dead. Uh, they scatter and explode. Blood wave does what? Conjure a blood wave that knocks back enemies. Oh, it's the ultimate skill. Oh. Ooh. Shift the tide of battle. No, uh, I was wrong, Mars, before about it being 20. It was always level 25. It's just level 20 is the goal that you have to hit to unlock a really cool cosmetic for when the game comes out. A baby wolf backpack at level 20. Level 25 is the limit of how far you can go. I'm trying to find some amazing ability here. Boon Spirit. Hmm. 
Do I want Blood Wave? No. I want it best. Wait. Well, yeah. I think we're good. It's all good to go. Increase the life of my skeletal mages. Maybe. And damage of them. Sure, for the time being. Maybe. I'll fine tune over time. I'll fine tune over time. Blood orbs also heal my minions. You know? Might as well. For the time being. Level 25. Congratulations. You can uninstall now. So at this point, I think I can go ahead and make the other character. I'm using five. Uh, yes, Mary. You get to have more than four potions. I have five potions. Right here with the map renown uh, completion situation. You see? You have to claim it, I think. You might have already unlocked it if you're playing quite a bit. But through exploration, doing side dungeons, finding those altars, you know, side quests and everything. You get this renown, and the renown unlocks these bonuses. The first reward is plus one skill points for all of your characters. Plus one potion charge. Ooh. The question is, does it go beyond five? I'm guessing yes. Right now I'm at five. Alrighty. Yeah. I'll be right back. We hit level 25 and we'll coast for a while with this for a bit and then I'll be moving over to the druid and trying that baby out on normal mode so I can level up and catch up to the other humans and really invest some time into that maybe. I'll try it out with the druid. It'll be fun, I guess. Less scary but less fun overall because it's less value because of the risk reward scenario. I'm having a fun time with this guy, but we'll see. I eventually want to have all my characters be hardcore because it is shared stuff between, you know, there's more reason to put stuff in your boxes, but we'll see. I'll be right back in just a bit with more of this hardcore stuff. I'm going to try to clear out this map. I'm trying to unlock this next reward right here, you see? So that my next character on hardcore mode will start with two skill points. But as for hardcore, uh, I don't really have to be locked into the druid for that. I'd rather be hardcore for all my characters that I really care about. But for the normal mode, I might just choose my favorite class, whatever that might be. Who knows? I could just do the barbarian thing as it's not scary anymore you know I could do the barbarian on normal mode seeing as I know what the heck to do and I could describe the difference yeah I might just do a barbarian and just go hardcore flim flam without a risk of death but anyways I'll be right back in just a second
All right, well, I'm level 25. Move on with our lives. My goal is to do as many of these uh, side quests and everything as possible. I'm trying to unlock this map stuff for my next character. I'm trying to get some refined gear. I hit level 25, but we ain't done yet. Which means that over time, the my items have to get a little bit stronger. Some of my items are lower than others. Uh, it seems like 300 is the item power I'm looking for. This is another dungeon I'm stumbling upon. I get 30 um, renown per dungeon, I think. Have I done this one yet? Mm. Maybe. Let's find out. I can cruise right on through and do what I have to do. Yes. I tagged all the bad guys. That did some damage to me. I gotta got be careful. Just stick and move. Literally stick. Oh I don't want to take a potion. I don't want to blow up. Oh, yes. I forget that my ability here would nuke out the enemy. We want more corpses. We want more corpses. Very effective. Okay, we have this enemy over yonder. Whoa. Oh my. He has fear on him. That was a bad dude there. Just gotta keep on going through and get, you know, this loot piled up. This is becoming pretty cool here. There we go. Now scrub it right on through. Hey there, friend. Oh, dude. Okay. I just have to, uh... I'm trying to make sure to, you know, not die here. I have two potions remaining. I get more by at random from the enemies. I'm trying to tag each enemy with my hemorrhage, which gives me a defensive buff for a bit. I just got that last item that makes these, these corpses explode as I drift on through with my blood mist. 
So right now I have two legendary items that work with the same skill. Which is so cool. All I'm hoping for, I'm not leveling up, I'm hoping to get better gear to replace my old gear over time. Oh no. Close to death, right there. That was, that was a very, a very close one. Oh, no. Risk and reward. Dot com. Tagging each one. Oh, that quarter two, quarter five. You gotta love it. I'm trying to make sure that my life is as high as possible as we go through. I'm looking for. Uh, my gosh. We're trying to find this bandit sentry out here in the this outdoor dungeon. I'm doing this for that. Renown for those long term unlocks. I think once I unlock that next tier of the Renown rewards, I'll swap over to a normal mode character and then begin my grind over there on that side. Is what I want to do. Yeah, so I think a person can swap between the different difficulty levels, veteran and non-veteran, within the same server, uh, whatever, maybe, but you can't swap between hardcore and non-hardcore, maybe. Oh no, this is a dangerous scenario. This enemy has powers. Horrible powers. There you go. Am I done? Almost done. Doesn't add up right. Says she saw you skulking around the reserves last night. Says we're short two blocks of the bits. Beautiful. No need to worry. I know you'll make it right. And I know you'll come tell me yeah. exactly how. I can't let you go. I always like you, my friend. But then I fresh meat. Oh my goodness. Scary things were happening out here in the wild. That blood mist is really effective now. As I travel through, it leaves this stuff behind that's damaging. And it blows up all the corpses. That's wonderful. What's happening? Oh, I get it. I have to hit these levers without getting stabbed. Okay, here we go. Let's take this potion. I hear you. Yes. Okay, my skills have no cooldown and re uh, oh. yeah. Or whatever. Reduce, reduce cost. No cost. Uh, reduce pull down. Come on. I'm 
taking advantage of that shrine. Yeah. Squeeze me. And let's go loop back around the bottom. Bingo. I'm back up to 10 summons. Each and every one. Yeah. Watch out for that squirt. Hide the man. And these other enemies. Get way back over here. And we go. Claymore style. We're still clearing out this dungeon for that renown and whatever reward is available at the end. Go back this other way. This is a crazy dungeon. The layout. I have to destroy three skeletal constructs. Oh no. Here we go, another item to get rid of. Day. Multiply that damage with two. Done. I have destroyed five thousand skeletons. And I don't have any uh titles on me right now. Oh but I will. There we go. We'll never move around this bad boy. Find the chalice with the bandit blood. Sure. Let's go this way. Down through. I see stuff around the corner. Hardcore indeed. I've never been in the dungeon before, so I'm not quite sure what's about to happen. You know, it could be really, really hard. Duh, duh, duh. Goodbye, soldier prospect. Get behind him. No. Behind the man. Thank you. Ooh, legendary ring. It's all worth it, you see, in the end. Uh, deal increased damage for each second I stand still. Up to 30%. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Life on kill. Damage to slowed enemies increased. I can modify that line. Very nice. Isn't it nice getting upgrades, people? It's 
what I'm saying. That was a low level item. I've had that old item for a while. Oh, thank you, Mars. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for your generous donation. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness gracious. Have yourself a golden zagnut. Thank you. This uh, necromancer is fun. I'm excited to see how the druid plays. He, he shapeshifts. The druid. Class. Let's dip over here. Criticals. Skeletal Construct number three. Yes, see, this dungeon's pretty unique. This dungeon feels like it's an outdoor area, but it's not. This is a dungeon. And I have to destroy these constructs and then fight some random boss situation. Hey, dungeon complete, see? Be careful, though. Remember, I do more damage as I stay still. Good for certain situations. If I'm far away from the boss. There you go. Mission completed. What do you say? Uh-oh. I'm leaving the dungeon. Mission completed. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. Let's go right here. Keep going until my inventory is full. And go from there. Okay. I gotta change my order of activity. My my rotation. There we go. I'll tag each enemy with my skills, you see. I'll put him in the bone cage and I'll dive right on through. That's what I'll do. And I am still searching through this map. everything as much as possible see that last dungeon was completed I'm, I'm doing a lot of them with my barbarian I didn't do as many dungeons because I was afraid it was much more dangerous is it cold it usually is it's a little cold you know Whoa! That was awesome. My blood mist triggers the, the uh, corpses as exploding flim flam. Alrighty. 
I'm, I'm, I'm trying to knock out this, is this? this uh, marathon here, people. And they can. Yeah. We don't want to die now. I'm trying to explore everything. Let's go up and through this upper region. Yeah. Okay, we have this activity around the corner. I want to jump in on right here. Ancient Siphon. Just stay still for a moment. Not today. I'm gonna stand still and zap them, zap them, get all these corpses, and then I'll glide through with my ability. Like that. Oh my god, those people. See that? Isn't that awesome? Oh my god. So good. Be good. That's insane. Oh my gracious host. Okay, five seconds. That's beautiful. Mm. Satisfying. Okay. I win. <laughs> Crazy. That was amazing. Let me go up and around the corner here. It is so good. I have these items that are working together quite nicely. You see, one item makes it where my blood mist does not go slow. Because normally it does. And it leaves behind this trail. The other one explodes the corpses on the ground. Which is awesome. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go up and around the corner again just to explore the map. We're looking for these altars of Lilith that give all my characters increased stats. Your eyes are getting heavy. Yes. The Oloyam Tundra. Hey there, chest. Thank you. I'm now up to thirty-six thousand dollars. Yay. I'm gonna, hug, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna hug the left wall now. And we go see. Give me that sweet fortification. Trying to build up that fortify. All the 
way up, all the way up, all the way up. Okay, it's working out very nicely. I'm enjoying it. I'm trying to get my my uh, build rotation down. Build the chalice with bandit blood, and I am trying to. Go over here. Mission completed. The blood filled chalice is filled. What did what 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 just happened? Oh. I clicked on the on on the thing. Okay, let's not die. Not today. I'm watching these guys. They might explode on me. Go. Nope, nope, nope. You stay over there. Avoid that guy. The flooded mine has been completed. I will drink the coffee. Yes. Yes. Uh oh. Time to head back to town. Isn't this great? So at this point, I'm going to get really strong, okay? Enemies are going to stay the same strength, but I'm going to keep getting stronger as my gear normalizes. Hello. Hello. Okay, what do we have? Any, any improvements? The answer is no. But I will strip this item, okay? At this point, I'm going to start to... Uh, level up my gems and everything once we start to finalize our gear here. I like that blood mist garbage So those two items are gonna stay like I can invest a ton of points into upgrading those hey, two pieces I don't need you there. Mm -hmm. Yes, you Come now. Don't be shy. They stole your eyes. What? Crazy so I will now check out this vendor over here to modify that amulet. I carry the best. Upgrade Shots add sockets. Upgrade add socket. It costs thirteen thousand dollars. I don't know about that. And I mean it's good. It could be better. Done. That was crazy, I know. And let's level that bad boy up for all the money. Boom. I've done it. And now I'm broke. Mm hmm. Because that is what I wanted. That is the item I needed. It's staying in my build. That thing ain't changing. Exactly, Mars. And my other item is the weapon here. This blood mist weapon thing needs to be as strong as possible. It's a lower level, though. I could, in theory, pull this aspect off and put it on some other weapon. Look at this difference here. Two-handed scythe. I could pull this off and put it on something else. But I'm kind of broke. You see? I could do this. 
and then how much does it cost? One second. Let's find out. I just want to see how much it'll cost. 11000 You see, I can't afford it. So I'll come back, and I eventually want to pull that aspect off that weapon and put on some stronger weapon. Okay. And, oh, I wanted to remove this aspect from this ring, if it'll let me. Okay, so now I'll put these gems and the aspects in my stash. I'm down to very little little dough, but that's okay. And the aspects. So much fun. Nothing else, nothing else. Now let's sell everything else. Besides the items I have to uh, scrap for more skins. Father Bless, what do you need? Those three items. The rest can be sold. Good. What else you got? Now I have twenty-one thousand dollars. Yes. Safe journey there. Arms for the light. Arms. I could just go this route and try to grind for another weapon. Even though I like the current thing tremendously. It's really important. Let's just go for a nice rare item. A one handed scythe go. Very nice, but could be better. 308, life on kill. I'll do one more. I'll just expend all of my flim flams. Oh, bad. Fair bit of magic in that one. 319, this one's better. Uh, chance to execute injured enemies. More vulnerable dam damage. It's not really for my build there. A 2% chance to just execute enemies. 4.5% critical strike. Flim flam. Hmm. Damage over time. Damage to close to enemies. Hmm. I'll think about it. Not good. It's not good time. enough. It's not good enough for my need. Let's check out my overall flim flams here. We're getting close. Five dungeons are done. Twelve altars. Eleven side quests. Four waypoints. We're still moving through. Let's go uh, salvage these final items. What will it be? Mm-hmm. Good so, deal. Father Bliss. So exciting. And now what are we doing? Okay, let's go teleport all the or let's go run all the way straight down again. Through these regions. You know what? I'm heading to this defiled catacomb for this other dungeon. Why not? I'm trying to knock out uh, those renowned rewards. I want to hit that other tier. And I'm trying to get some money right now. I'm not too sure how often the uh, resources on the map respawn. Hey, 
do, friendo. Hello. Hello. Maybe invite me, guys. Invite me to your party, please. Woo-wee! Damage to the There are other people here. No player to invite lies. We have this event here. We gotta do it. Mm -hmm. The idol of the overseer. Okay, we're way over here. Oh, I gotta be careful. Tethered enemies have to be brought down one by one. And there's the final dude. I think it's done now. Maybe. Nope. All done. Mm -hmm. I'm still getting those murmuring or obols and these items with all these potential skins. I sure like turning into a ball of blood. Uh -huh. Health Globe City. I'm trying to go for a rare sight, uh, you know, and then modify that with the current legendary skill, or just get the same legendary over again. I'm gonna go up and around. Well, not again, not again, not again. I'm heading to this dungeon. Because I can. And I have to. Even though even though the, the side quests uh sometimes lead to a dungeon. Infested cottage. Have I not done this already? It didn't have a green check mark next to it. Oh, no. 
All completed and done for. Yay. Infested cottage, cellar completed. treasures, all the treasures and secrets like that. These guys stand no chance. Whoa. As I was saying, no chance. Dudes are spawned. I do like it. I'm heading to a dungeon. Exciting. Okay, I'm doing this dungeon now. My buttons weren't working because I had the chat box pulled up. Oh no. Mm. Oh. Here we go. We're in some uh, weird crypt. Doing it for money and other things, and for uh, the renown after completing it. Yeah. Explode these. Trying to make sure these guys are uh, in line. Yes, I'm in a dungeon. One I haven't done before during this session. Right now, I have to slay all enemies in this catacomb. That's a very weak. Get up close to first now, huh? Gym. Out of here. I'm getting more and more gems over time. Whoa, another amulet or uh, another uh, legendary. That's cool. I'm guessing that the Jewelry slots all share the same legendaries. Be careful here. Oh, no. Okay, what was that? Uh, oh, it's the standard old garbage resist all in my jewelry I think I can I can uh, replace the gem by dropping it maybe 
maybe? We'll see. I might have to pay to unsocket it before replacing that gym. This is a big dungeon, it appears. Behind the little thing. I'm at 26,000 gold again. Yeah. I have to get these guys with the blood lamps one by one. Out of essence, actually. So be careful with that. Hey there, Shannon. How's it going? Look where this guy. Get these items and keep on trouncing on through the land. Still alive, level 25, the highest level you can be in the beta. Hardcore mode. Rocking and rolling. Avoid this dude. And avoid him. There he is. Ooh, wait, another ring. I'm level 25 there, buddy. Yeah. Bone prison spawns a pool. Ooh, hold on. This is better. Bone prison spawns a pool of blight that deals bonus damage over. Them plum seconds. Check it out. Ooh, look, there's a pool of blight inside. Awesome. Man, I'm getting so much stronger. I can't stand it, you see? My overall attack power is 242. My armor is 1,000. Or four, ab about 1,400. 1.386. Yeah, 6.8. That dude there, gotta be careful. That's our goal to avoid him. It does damage over time, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Increased health, do you think? There you go, pal. You're dead now. Very exciting. I'm, I'm unlocking so much. Mm. 
Yes. I'm getting sleepy weepy, so you have to wake me up there, Shannon. Wake me up. Talk about them two lips. Tiptoeing. By that window. It's trying to stick through. Beautiful. I'm still thoroughly enjoying this uh, character class. I've been getting a bunch of gear that works synergistically. Several items that amplify the same skill. You know? Pretty cool. For example, my uh, blood mist now explodes these corpses. And they move faster. So, watch this. Whoa! That's so cool. That's so cool. Oh, P. Now I'm invincible. Let's hurry up. For the time being, I have to hurry. I have no potion. There it is. Cut more seconds. But now's a chance to put away the items. Okay, let's head back to town. Hooba stink. Got word. I have to inject caffeine into my eyeballs. Yes. I feel pretty solid. I feel like I've, lo I've learned a lot since last weekend, you know what I mean? And I've been applying it to make myself stronger, periodically. Well, this has been imprinted already, I think. Uh, I already have that one, so I can sell these items. For how much money? A lot of money. Yes. Level 17, level 15. Hmm. Fine. I'll put these items in my stash for my other character. Hello, heathen hills, yo! Okay. Uh, fire resistance. Nah. Those are very purposeful. Everything else is as it is. I would like to have a one-handed scythe. A one-handed scythe to replace what I currently have. Alright, let's go get rid of everything else. I do have money. I'll see what I can do. Some items I want to keep. I'll only upgrade something if it's over 300 item power. Okay, that stuff is all garbage. What do we have? 225, garbage. 254, garbage. 292, maybe. 312. Let's go. Uh, but it's not the best item. You know, it's just a normal, a normal item. When Bloodlands hit something, it has a chance to fire another Blood Lance. Yes, I'm streaming this game all weekend. Let's save our money here. And let's sell all this stuff. Cool. What else you got?
I'm, I'm, I'm back up to 50,000 gold. Yes. It's nice to have that money. All right. I'll teleport down here, okay? Otherwise, I'll never make it in time. Hold on. Didn't I just do this spot? Twice? Hmm. I thought it had a check mark. Hmm. And the Lost Archives? Hmm. Mallwood. Lights Watch. I thought I just did the Defiled Catacomb. Oh, oh, oh. I wasn't done yet. I wasn't done. I was a fool. Oh my gosh. I was not done, people. I wasn't done with the dungeon. No wonder. Uh. I'm like, what the heck is going on? I thought I was just in there. Oh, no. Here we are. We're still here. We're still in the dungeon right now. Oh, yeah. Not me, pal. Not me. I am not the one. Yes. The depths of the dungeon we shall travel. Getting all this sweet dough. So satisfying. Yep. Yep. My asthma. Damage over time. Hey, legendary gloves. What in, what in, what in carnation? What in carnation? What in the tarnation's going on here? Uh, favorite class? I like barbarian quite a bit, but this thing is 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 pretty good. When a segment of the bone prison is destroyed or expires, it deals damage. Not much, though. Not good enough. Not good enough. I'll save it for later. This is a one-handed weapon. Distant enemies have a chance to be stunned for two seconds when they hit me. Not good enough. But this, this Necromancer is pretty awesome, Brandon. It's, like, really, really good. You know what I mean? Very satisfying. Yeah. I can, you know, pin him up. Dishy dash in. Beautiful. Boom prison. Yes, I have 10 minions right now. I got this awesome Blood Nova thing. And it's Bone Prison. And I'm really tanky. With all this Fortify uh, life. Uh oh, that is an elite. Make sure we're good to go. And again, 
and healing all the time. I appreciate the clips, Mar. Okay, here we go. Two PM. Uh oh, the door is sealed. <gasps> I missed something back there. Money, 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 money. Clearly have to increase my attack power a little bit. We're almost there. Jeez, I missed the thing way back here. Ten thousand years. One twenty or one o two a.m. For you there, Shannon. Oh yeah. Make sure that each enemy has a blood lance on them. Yeah. Yep. Come on. really groovy right now. The show is nice. More items. Oh boy. Danger. So I got I got the the key. Did I not? Make sure. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. We'll see. I killed the guy. So maybe the, the gatekeeper is by this uh, exit right over there. The key to success is using the restroom. Yes. Follow me. We're almost there in this catacomb. This catacomb. It's called the Spiral Crypts for a reason. Wow. Yes, I'm getting a bit sleepy. I'm about to stretch my legs in a second. I'll be okay. I'll get that second wind in just a moment. I'll get that second wind in just a second. Careful. Bad things are happening. Lots of bad things were happening there. Oh, yeah. 
Hey there, Leaf. Yes, this is the Necromancier. Rocking and rolling. Yeah. What you talking about, Willis? I'll get that second wind because we're on a roll here and I haven't died yet on hardcore mode veteran difficulty this builds really good there leaf are you are you familiar with Diablo are you familiar with the Diablo hey I have all these blood attacks and everything. I have a bunch of legendary items. I I've already hit the max level for the beta. So... Oh my gosh, gotta be careful, careful, careful. Gatekeeper is strong. Avoid the gatekeeper. Not today, buddy. Done. Now give me the key. OG Diablo 1 and 2. Well, this one has this that same dark feel. Donut. They, they did a great job with this one. Here's my skill tree. Whoa, look at that thing. Crazy stuff. And we are entering the catacomb. Boss fight. Here it comes. Oh no. The brood guard. Oh no, oh no, oh no. You would not stab me. Put the funk on him, put the funk on him. Ooh, that, that looks... Painful. Okay, be careful. Lots of webs around here. This is a rough boss fight. We can do it. Kill my minions. Invite. Get back here. Yep, yep, yep. No poison for me. Go, 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 go. We're not going anywhere. I've imprisoned the boss in a building prison. Oh, no, no. Back out from that corner. Boss has been exterminated. We have done the things. Congratulations. Me? The dungeon is done. And once again, the day is saved. Hooba thing. Yeah. The Tormented Ruins. Let's go over here and do my actual side quest or something. Let's go run there right now. 
and then I will reward myself with a bathroom break. Because I can. Random enemies are not gonna chop me. I need the money. Let's go hit up this far this far corner over here. Hard. That was hard for three seconds. Thank you. Thank you so much. I can move. I have so much armor! I'm just a powerful dude. Oh, this is where the axe was. I'm moving on to my mission. I've been back and forth for a while now. You know? Blood Nova gives me that stacking fortify thing. Uh, does my st strength increase with level? I don't know if any stats increase with level directly. Your stats is based upon your uh, your stats are based upon your gear, and your level, I think, just gives you a perk point. It probably does something else. Do certain other milestones that are unlocked, or are based upon? Your level, you know, like unlocking skeletal mages at level fifteen. Uh, but it's really, I think, just your your unlocking perk points to then populate this. And I don't know if it, the gear is level based to a degree, but and then the gear gives you stats. I mean, you might get stats as you level up, but it's really the gear. So if I want to get stronger, I have to make sure that my, you know, it says even the armor. Uh, for the Necromancer, the, the main stat is intelligence that increases all of my skill damage. So there's that. And every every stat does something. But there's critical hit chance and critical hit damage. Okay. Keep going behind this this cabin yeah at this point I'm excited to get a bunch of money in reality and in the game I'm invincible when I'm that blood bubble Blood bubble invincibility. Yeah. 
sure to land through. Yay. So we go up and around to the right, baby. That's right. We're doing it. Heading to that next quest in this other town, and I'll get that waypoint which I already had. Yeah. Soon I'll be even stronger. You see? We're almost there. I need 105 points until I hit my next major milestone, my, my next personal milestone. Cemetery, and I have to destroy these skeletal constructs. You know? Tag a bunch of enemies with this blood lance, they all contribute damage to my current target. Yeah. Yeah, my, my, my main weapon is a bit lower in level. Codex. Ooh, we are we are getting there. Yay. Professor Hyde White. Here it's on the back. Oh! Whoa, it's a big treasure goblin. Get back here. In prison. Didn't stand a chance. This guy didn't stand a chance. Nope. Full again, everybody. Go, DJ. Okay, I will quickly run over and scrap anything that has a new plan on it. Right now. Distant enemies have a chance to be stunned when they hit me. I deal more damage to stunned enemies. Nope. Okay. 
And over here. Good deal. Father bless. All these normal items besides that are going to be gone. Good. Level 15. Safe okay. Journey. All done. Let me go back down to the potion dude and I'll buy that next potion. I could try my hand at more oh, uh, legendaries as well. Ooh, ooh, crushing elixir. Overpower damage by 20%. That's cool. Assault elixir, attack speed by 7%. I'll do overpower damage. I'll buy one of these, and I'll buy one of these where I'm crafting really. Ah, perfect balance blessings. I agree. So I'll put away this stuff after stopping by this vendor. Pretty cool. Yes, my minions are doing a great job. I'm trying to keep them alive, oh boy. Father bring you luck? Maybe. Let's go for another, uh, uh, pants. It's not, I don't have the best pants on me. The same exact thing. No, it's not. I heal for blah, blah, life per second for each close up enemy. And, oh. My potion will grant more life as a barrier, or max life as a barrier, and more healing received, and rank of bone prison. Well, I'm keeping what I currently have, and I'll break down that item as a salvage. Yes, I like the music. Let's go break down this item right now. Why we're back. So, plow. Done. And I'll put away these other items in my stash and those potions besides what I'm currently using. Hello. Greetings. Okay. Teleports me to a place of safety. Well, I might use that. Let's use both of these. I'll keep these on me. The rest went back. Very cool. Now we head back out to where I was before. We're still trying to slowly get better items. Yeah. So what have you got? It says, greet death with open arms. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and what happens? Nothing? Hmm. Cool. Yes. Keep on keeping on here. If we could. But now my blood lance no longer uh, ricochets as much, which means I could potentially swap it out for something else. Maybe that uh, flesh melting disease. Maybe. I don't think I checked this corner. Just making sure. I'm heading down towards that town again.
Ooh, angel breath. Pasta. Yay. Yeah. Pick that blood wreath. And I made it to my destination. Can you imagine it? Let's go over here first. We have some weird shack over here. Oh, yeah. Remember, I was live all day, off and on, off and on, off and on. For hours at a time. Hour. Something weird. Good, good, good. Yes, sir. Make sure we good with the blood lances and get them. That was good. Mm -hmm. We're up to seventy-three thousand dollars. Life on kill, more damage to slow enemies, distant enemies, damage over time, and it's way better. Okay. And it has a socket. Of course it's better because it's two-handed. Ugh. Oh my goodness. I could finally use the restroom. And then wake up. Okay. I've arrived in town. Stronger than before. Let's cool. complete this egg quest. Now, take a piece of the burning wood from this holy pyre and place it in the I will. The Reverend Mother was wise to choose you for this task. Thank you. The chalice is now hey ready. Hey friend. For her. This painting must be from before my mother. Wow. Please, do give her my most respectful regards. Yes. Kilbishad. The power of Kilbishad. Alright, let's go teleport back home, huh? Or I'll just stop it right here and I'll be right back, okay, people? Yes, I'll be right back. In just a second. Huzzah!
Hello. You know, I haven't even pushed forward uh, that much in the storyline here. Isn't that crazy? All right, let's go back. Let's head over to Yelezna Mine. Let's do the actual... Actual thing. For a second. What do you say? A little bit. But not really. I'll go in that direction. Just a bit closer. New territory, sort of. I'll do what I can. Alright. I've woken up two, two degrees. I've woken up 5%. Get out of there. Get so careful here. We're on our way. Disturbed grave. Awesome. Awesome, everybody. I'm knocking out this map. I can't stand it. We're doing it. Again. I mean, I can't wait for the actual game to come out. It's going to be great. I got some weird side quest from some I, uh, enemy. I move forward. Through these mines. Okay, well, I don't know. We'll see. Another activity. For sure. Let's hurry up. Maximize the flim plan here. My goal here is to fill up this thing with a bunch of souls. Yeah. Come on. Oh yeah, the souls. Whoopsie. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. We need the souls. Let's go. Feel the rough, baby. Oh boy. I did it. I barely made it there. Well, watch out for the food over here. Yeah. And done. Yay! Now I move on through. That was a successful romp. Not gonna die here. Oh no. Uh, I think I am now invulnerable or something. Yep. Invulnerable powers of your. For the time being. I 
I did not take my potion, but I will. We're here at Yelezna. And I never checked in last time. I'm gonna loop around back into town. Mm -hmm. Another cellar. Let's do it. Yeah. That's a cool song. Here we go, and boom. You can't get me, buddy, old pal. Not today. Gotta tag all these dudes. Are we done then? Yes, we are. The den is complete. So if if, if, if you're a, a, a gamer that likes uh, completionist flim flam, this is a, a game for you. Getting credit for things and having it chucked off of a list. Fun times. Hmm. Gallo Vine. Let's check over here for a second and I'll go up and around again. Again. Give me the dough. Seventy seven thousand dollars. Through town after all this time. Welcome to the town of Yelesna. You seem troubled. Left our home I'll find him. You there. Leave me alone. I'm off duty. Just trying to have a little fun. Hey there, friendo. For once. Hey there, friendo. Let's go for new pants. Nope. Yeah. Yeah, lots of details here in the map. Let's break down a couple of things like this amazing helmet that I'm going to be wearing uh, very soon. Unlocks new look on Savage. I'll be changing up my look very soon. Come back if you need work. I will be. Hi there. I heard about your mind. It's all messed up. It's Problem. crazy. I can't stand it. Boom. Done. Hi there. What oh, services do you stairs. provide? Nothing. Alright, cool. And now how far along are we? We're so close! Look, this is what I want to accomplish before crossing over to the Druid. Yes. Let's go take care of business right now. 
We be... Taking care of business. Yep, that just happened. I am proud of my accomplishments. The ghoul heart. I'm also happy with my accomplishments in Valheim, you know. I made some great things recently. That uh, eyeball farm. I was very happy at the end of this morning. Or last night. Last night. This morning. I don't know. This morning. I sought out to go find that that uh, Grey Dwarf spawner in the Black Forest. And after running for a while I found one that was right next to a ruined tower I could then take over and build from. So I'll, I'll have a, an amazing project when I Come back. Yes. Yep. Nice. I'm really happy with this build right now. Of course, new items can come in and could tweak my overall uh, arrangement. Let's keep looking around here. I'm not too familiar with this region. We're sort of exploring. I'm guessing I'll have to come back there for some sort of quest. Let me go give things at this shrine. Ooh, a two-handed scythe, which does... No. Increase damage while I have a barrier active. No. That's boring. Thank you. I appreciate that. Mission completed. Done. And now I head all the way over here to go find this husband. This is a weird quest. But we end up with a nice dagger. I've woken up a little bit. A little bit. Dr. Pepper in my coffee mug. That is just so beautiful. Again. I'm taking my time making my way across the field, being careful when I have to.
like that butcher thing that happened earlier i left that M remember when i encountered the butcher and i had to leave the dungeon Oh boy. Careful, careful, careful. Spread the love. Here we go. Ooh, we. I'm getting the items. Uh, becoming injured while crowd controlled gives me unstoppable for four seconds. It sucks. this whole angle right now. Okay, there's a bloody situation. It's very, 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 uh, very nice. Yep, a whole lot of action in this one. Yes. Hey, thank you, Mars. Yes. Okay, we have a dungeon coming up, everybody. A dungeon. How are we looking? We're so close. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. And I have a whole lot of money right now. I almost have a hundred thousand. Crazy. I'm getting a lot of gems as well. Hardcore level 25, let's go. But like I said, now that I'm level 25, the enemies are, are gonna stay the same. The, the enemies are gonna stay at the same difficulty, but I'll just be getting stronger. You know what I mean? The enemies were matching my level, and I had to keep catching up with the gear, but now... But now, the enemies are stagnate, and I'm just improving my gear over time, right? Which means it's it's gonna get easier. But I can't let my guard down. But I have this event over here I have to respond to right away. Blood is the key! Oh, let me inspect first. Blood is the key. Good old necromancer. Back. No one's gonna get inside this baby. I'm in a bone cage. So right here I have to step on these three panels to initiate this obelisk. Uh-oh. Nope. 
missed me. Uh oh. Nope. Go in prison. Not today. Nope. Did I win? Come on. And he is dead now, right? Sure. I win. That was great, wasn't it? I say yes. Let's go check these corners. And check those corners. I'll do a loop de loo. Hey, good thing I, I did that. I got that angel breath. Angel breath pasta. Operation Oh Yeah is a go. Go. Mm hmm. Gallo vine. Bite berry. Found you, buddy. My sweet Theodore. Mm -hmm. May you know Theodore? No. What has happened? Oh heavens! No, no. More Such sights. I have witnessed such pleasure, such pain. I must have more. More. What? I'll grab the dagger. More. More. Please go after that woman who did this to him. More. 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 Yep. Stab him right, right in the chest. Let's go. Boss fight. It's no surprise Fedor was drawn to me. But I have given only... But I digress. I digress. His petty soul has been torn asunder. I am a succubus. agony and ecstasy. But his flesh is unyielding. He will not interfere. And... You are trapped. Gotcha, baby. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh. That was almost really difficult for a second with these weird pylons. But it's over now. I pulled through because I was ready. Ho oh, hum. All done. If it's a reward you want, take the dagger from his chest. Will do. You, you deserve much worse than the yeah. mercy I have just shown you. Spitui. And I say, spitui. Dot com. All right, we're heading back to town here. Oh my gosh, we're so close to getting our rewards. about to happen. It's about to happen right now. Yes. The spreading crown of blue. Yes. 
Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. Almonds, joids, got nuts. But mounds don't. But they still have coconut. Gross. I like coconut though, so maybe I should give it a shot. Back when I was younger, I didn't like coconut. I didn't know any better. And then I lived in Hawaii for a bunch of years. And now I like this stuff. Who would have thunk? It's a strange flavor if you're not used to it. And, and the texture. I've returned with the ghoul hearts of yours. Now pay me. Ghoul hearts. Pay me! Look, everybody, Rutabaker. I've done it. I've accomplished the task, and I'm done now. <laughs> On that note, I will now. I have one more point, you see? One more juicy point. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Toasty. All day. Every day. Yeah. I have done it. I have done the thing. So now I'm gonna... I'm going to uh, head back to town. That was scary. Yes. It's midnight. All right, let's uh, let's work with this gear for a second. I've accomplished the major task I wanted to accomplish. Or both of them, level 25 and... Well, this was a major task. So now, guess what? If I make a new character, it'll start off with five potion charges and two skill points. It's like starting off with a level 3 character, which is awesome. So, we're here, and I want to extract some powers. This thing right here, done. Thank you for 15,000 extracted. And becoming injured while crowd controlled. No, I don't want that. I don't want that garbage. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Okay, let's modify something or other. Something of the level 300 category. How about this? Can I modify something? Minion attack speed? I don't have the what? Fiend Rose. Come on. 226, 257, 216. I don't need strength. Okay, I can't my I can't modify any of those because they're all legendaries. Let's go check out the jewel land for a second. So, upgrade jewelry. Unsocket. Is it free? Huh. And, uh, I would like to have this diamond upgraded. Okay. Put 
or resist all. For resist all. Right there. And can I socket this uh, ring? Only if it's good. Only if it's good. This bone prison ring, maybe. It's very expensive, actually. It's a bit too expensive. Let's try to upgrade. Increase resist all on that ring there, or the amulet, and oh, uh, I need to find out when the world boss is. One second, Diablo Four world boss spawn time. When is the world boss? When is the world boss? It is. Today at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, or Daylight Time. At 11 a.m. is the world boss, so I want to make sure I'm, I'm, I sleep before that. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> yeah. Okay, we're good to go there. I'm sort of winding this whole thing down here. I might be ending now, I don't know. I haven't played with the with the druid yet, so I might see what's up with that. I might make the beginning of a druid just for a second and get past the prologue and then stop. Is what I might do. That might be a plan. I think I'll, I'll do that. So I'll finalize this character right here with all these items, and then I will uh, make a druid. And get through the prologue with that character. And then I'll stop then. I'll go to bed, wake up. Before 11 a.m. I'm sure. And be live all day tomorrow. But there's a big world boss spawning. So I'll get some good sleep. And I'll come back after all that. So just a couple more things here I have to work with. It's going to be wonderful. Let's see here. So, uh, nothing to break down besides that chest over there while becoming injured with the flim flam. Hmm, I'll break it down. I want it. It's mine. Thank you. And can I upgrade something? Anything? Nope. 254, garbage. 222, 292, 312. Not good enough for me. Let's go sell these other items. Something for the cold and dark. Good deal. Father Bliss. Alright, cool. Now I'll store the, these other items in my inventory over here. Yeah. Right over here. That was a good haul. And the aspects there. And these potions. And that. You see? And we have 62,000 $62, dollars. And some of these items my other character can use. Alright, so now I'm going to back out of here. Very exciting. And I'll be making a druid. Hardcore dude. And then, uh, hmm. Or droid normal. Because, what if the world boss is really hard and, and um, kills me? Hmm? Anyways. Here we go. I am ready with the 
fine. This guy is not going to be a hardcore character. Okay. He is not going to be a hardcore character. I'm just going to get through the beginning past the prologue and go from there. I could save it for tomorrow, but... Uh, I'm kind of curious. I just want to see, just just for a second, I'm about to wrap up the stream right now, okay? Sanctuary was never meant for humankind. Here we go. I should find better shelter before I freeze. Okay, so now I have... Oh, that's right. Nothing. I'm carrying a big green stick. Mm -hmm. We'll see what's up in just a second. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay, this is my first adventure mode character. So, you know what? I think I should reserve this for tomorrow. Let me back out for a second. Okay. Because it's going to take some mental focus. Especially if that's my first adventure mode character. I want to do a, a thorough scrub. Okay. Well, that was nice. We made it so far. <coughs> so far. It doesn't even say if they're alive or dead, does it? Deleted. Well, that was cool. I guess we're done now, everybody. Can't stay here forever. Mah. I'm a noble spirit of the forest. Yeah, this dude's pretty awesome. This uh, necromancer was pretty darn fun. Sorry to say goodbye, but it's time to go. Well, thank you all for watching. We had a great stream. Uh, tomorrow, we'll be doing more of this. Um... At a certain point, I do want to, I do want to do adventure mode. Uh, we'll see tomorrow. Goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. Have yourself a fantastic day. It's time for me to go to bed. Yes. Like and subscribe. The Goodbye Way. And thank you for your fantastic support. Who? Diablo 4 Marathon